okay to uh, cut off your because that's like in a way like nigga if y'all know that y'all need to import tea from somewhere y'all yep. little country we exactly. got to import tea you for me this got to come through you know what let's just go ahead fuck this middleman and we just gonna go import the tea to ourselves. and we are live that was my bad I'm not giving you guys the countdown in there but hopefully they didn't catch that what's going on it's another episode of no jumper news today is april 10th and we are here facts everyone was here on time too this is my fault that we're a little bit late today I was eating. Thank you for I hey, stepping up and saying that. And yeah, letting them know. no, no, it was me too, though. Us. I was eating. You feel me? But we was here on time. No, and I, I want to give you guys that credit because the chat is sometimes pretty harsh on us starting when we say we're gonna start. But you guys are here on time. What's going on? What's we have what the six-figure Susker in the building. Almighty suspect. What's going on? I'm chilling, bro. Chilling, cooling. You feel me? Starting my day. You know, had court yesterday. It, it was cool. Nothing crazy happened. You okay. feel me? Nah, it's just the same case I've been fighting for like a year. Mm. You feel me? Well, I, I, I was fighting two. I beat one maybe like three or four months ago, and then I'm finna finna beat this one. I too. remember that one. Yeah. So nothing. You feel me? Just go back, mm. go back in June or some shit hey, like try that. Try to see you fuck up again. Yeah, facts. <laughs> you trying to hold on to you for a little bit. Yeah, go back next month. Yeah, up. we'll see you back next month. Like, all yeah, right, bro. Damn, whatever. Days you're getting to something else. Yeah, you feel me? Like, you know, they. Damn, that's pushing, really why they do that, huh? They yeah. keep pushing the back and keep pushing the back and keep pushing the back. <laughs> like, fuck up again. And it's not like this is not a case where you're like searching for witnesses and evidence or no shit. It's not one of those. So it's like you you can't use the oh we pushing it back next month to get mm -hmm. to gather more shit like because it's just nothing you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, of course shit, nothing crazy though. But I'm chilling. What's up with y'all? Man, chilling, relax, chilling, chilling. Also, oh, good this morning. here with the new hair, <laughs> Zan Princess. You might not have recognized her in the building. What's going on? What's up? I'm good. Glad to be here. What's up, chat? And of course, we have the coolest, the sharpest, you dig, sharp, <laughs> in the building. <laughs> you just had to get one of those off this morning. Did it feel good? It does feel <laughs> good, dude. <laughs> That's like Damn one of the catchphrases that I will one. keep like on deck whenever, just like we'll spurt up. You did. Hey, man, top of the morning, chat. Hope everybody feeling good and good spirits this morning, man, for real. It's been a crazy week, but uh, we fucking here. Where is Brick? Where's the Brickster, man? This dude. He getting he sexy to can pull up, right? Man, I don't know about all that. <laughs> man, you know he's that's a professional late man. That's a he's tall a, word to feel. It's crazy. He's giving bad bitch energy. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> the Brickster is <laughs> on his way. To be so man. late just to come in to go. <laughs> right, he's Brick is giving that bad bitch energy right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Brick, man. Can't wait till he get here. Yeah, speaking of bad B energy, did you guys? <laughs> oh my. Whoa. Happened to catch the No Jumper show last night. I, I showed did. the fuck did. I caught it. Bro, I why the first time you pulled this up? I didn't see the cartoon of Adam. I only seen a cartoon of DW. Oh, really? What the fuck? I like How cartoons. did I miss that? Can someone make me no, a cartoon? cartoon. I, I didn't see that. No, I don't know why. Saw that. That's crazy. I only seen a DW cartoon. I didn't see Adam. I, God, I think me and you, we fell in the early phases. Fuck. Remember there was a cartoon like that of me? The niggas was doing yeah, that fact. shit nigga, a year ago. Hell yeah. Big <laughs> shout out from Danny from the stop. Uh, he came in for an interview uh, about a month or so back, and he does really, really dope breakdowns of the Joe Budden podcast. Um, he get, you know he did a breakdown of the of the situation last night. So let's yeah, check. This I want to watch it. I didn't see it at all. Let's watch it real quick. I'm not hip. Oh, Man, it dropped this morning. Things just got crazy. DW Flame literally walked out of a live podcast episode <laughs> of the No Jumper Show. <laughs> Apparently, Adam got under his skin when he accused DW Flame of having bad bitch energy. Well, okay, this is the thing about DW is that, no disrespect. Oh my God, don't do that. You kind of have bad bitch energy. Like, you want us to be on top of making sure like you know what i mean like he wants us to like really be hitting him up to get him to come to the party no you got bad bitch energy babe don't do that is too much <laughs> brick baby defends dw's actions and hints that dw doesn't really know adam like that <laughs> oh wow you tell me you think that that was like yeah hey, that's what i say about see we you haven't got with him uh, uh, enough like some people play the like game where you know what I'm saying, and some people don't, bro. Like, but me, I play with my friends like that. So me and you, we could talk like that shit like all the time. Hell, even the super chat notes that 
by saying Adam should have chosen better words and that the B word was just too extreme. Another thing to note was that DW never really looked comfortable from the start of this taping and to compound that, DW's significant other was in the studio. Perhaps that's why he felt super disrespected. She thought he was joking yeah, too. She's like, he'll be right back. Going to the <laughs> and then I seen her come and grab her purse. And I'm like, oh, because he's not coming back. You know how when you in front of your girl and you try to overreact to any type of disrespect, maybe that was the triggering point for DW. Who knows? Adam then tries to get reflective and admits he can get too edgy sometimes. The people out there can think of a lot of examples of different times that I've said stuff that was like really on the edge of like too offensive for me to be bringing to the table in terms of like when you think about the kind of jokes that me and AD and House Phone and even like people like Sharp and whoever, even you, I have a very edgy sense of humor. We know that. Never well, did I, I think that. That, that bad bitch energy would be over the line. Because... I realize it has the word bitch in it. Because to him, it, it, it was interpreted like you'd be acting like a bitch. Like a bitch that I got to call. Right. You get what I'm saying? And that's not what you meant. It was like a funny joke, like... He's no, you hot. can definitely tell that Brick hit... Like, he had just gone off a flight that morning mm -hmm. and came straight here, like... Thanks. He's, he's high. Yeah, he the tank is shit. low at this point. Yeah, he's, he's high. He had done a podcast too right before this, so like I'm gonna cut him a little bit of slack, but yeah. Plus he did the news that morning. Mm -hmm. He did yeah, the I news. Know, he did a pod. Nigga, we yeah. talking to us. Nigga, I come to the bitch with the cup every day for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. I fucking know. You, know. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? And that's why I didn't because you was yeah, start to nigga like one of one of the music streams almost fell asleep. Nigga, no cap, cup in hand, <laughs> finna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I, I just had to make that side call. Like when he was talking yeah. to Adam, I'm like, he's I saw you on camera with your eyes closed eating cookies. Nigga. <laughs> high as God. Like, fuck. Yeah. Like, you know, you like this. Looking crazy as fuck. Though, Embarrassing, my <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Looking that stupid. <laughs> Looking dumb as fuck, bro. I had to get that shit together. No, I'm proud of you. No you good, fuck, bro. Bitch. You feel me? So you're still clean? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I took it. What was like, it called again that gets you off of it? Uh, Suboxin? Yeah, Suboxin and Kratom. If you want to go more natural, oh, yeah. go Kratom. Yeah. But if it's you like real, real, real bad, Suboxin. You feel me? But even that, like, bro, I I barely take that. Like, I got to feel like I'm dying yeah. for me to pull that shit out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't like the feeling of, of Suboxin. Like, I don't, I don't like the feeling of being high like that. You yeah. feel me? So it's like, I don't... It's not even gonna get me addicted because I don't like how that shit makes me feel. So I break off a small little piece of a piece of a piece just so I could not be sick. But I only do that if I absolutely got to. You okay. feel me? I'm 18 days. I'm good. You feel me? Even at the party when 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 we went in the drug room with Adam and him, yeah. I didn't take nothing. You feel me? I was good. <laughs> I had a couple shots. You feel me? And I was smooth. No okay, cap. I'm 18 days good. I feel smooth too. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Y'all see me every morning. This bitch hungry as fuck. Eating yeah. this shit. Usually I wouldn't eat until like noon and shit, but nah. I just made a side comment about that nigga high as fuck up there. No cap. He definitely faded. A pretty but clear like, cut joke, right? I really feel like Adam is being honest with himself here, but then Adam reverts to that same edginess he's referencing <laughs> and says that DW walking off set won't help him beat the bad bitch energy allegations. Leaving the podcast because I made a joke about bad bitch energy is kind of bad bitch energy. It's kind of like exactly what I was joking about, but it's actually like what I was saying was kind of like a, a bad example of it, but like walking off the podcast actually is a pretty good example of it. <laughs> like, I'm not agreeing with you, Adam. I'm not doing that shit. One step forward, <laughs> three steps back for Adam. After this, Adam starts to realize how crazy things can get at No Jumper. From Brick Baby's Dead Homies incident to Damn Homie versus Sharp. You right, Adam. There's definitely something crazy in the water at the No Jumper Studios. <laughs> Adam then gives great insight into how his honor antics might be providing complications for his co-hosts in real life, particularly his overtly sexual jokes <laughs> and willingness to explore topics not typically discussed in hip-hop. But then Adam does something amazing and gets into the philosophy of what he wants No Jumper to be and reveals that he believes what makes No Jumper stand out <laughs> is a mix of street culture and corny white boyism. Kind of like man. Jackass meets Wu-Tang. <laughs> Adam then starts giving game and says DW could have taken the episode to the next level had he expressed why he felt disrespected. 
Adam just looks totally displeased by how DW handled the situation. Mm. Now, it's important to remember that this DW blow up has some similarities <laughs> to the almighty suspect no argument just Adam has had. It's becoming Please. pretty clear that members of the I no don't know if it's funnier with no words yeah. than just seeing niggas' movements. Like, <laughs> dude, shout out Bossa. He uh, edited this video, he did a great job. This is yeah, fucking gold, bro. This shit is gold. It's this part right here. <laughs> For me, Sussman get him like, nigga, you see Sussman hat, nigga. That's how you know he's yeah, mad. I didn't know he stormed off flat, the set. Nigga, like, <laughs> no hey, nigga stormed hey, out. W sus, if y'all read the comments. <laughs> that nigga was mad. W sus, I, I whooped his ass verbally. Put them paws on that man with them words. No cap. But this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Jumper staff Yo. aren't taking Adam's passive aggressive shots as content and are actually getting really offended. Adam may have to do a better job of understanding what triggers his co-host and choose his words more wisely. Let me know I what agree. you think, listeners. Did Adam cross the line? Is DW dropping the ball as a content creator? And will DW come back or has Adam burnt a bridge? Yeah, DW could come back, but if he's not able to take Adam's edgy humor, that could provide the complication. Right? Could he be on the No Jumper show with Adam when Adam starts to, you know, make jokes, make inappropriate jokes? It's something we gotta examine. Like, Brick Baby clearly has a rapport with Adam, so when Adam goes off the rails, he knows how to reel him back in or further the conversation. Alright, y'all, leave the dialogue in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. Once again, this is Danny from The Stop. Doing the science on the no jumper universe. Oh man, it's getting real crazy. I didn't even expect this. This came out of left field. I was just tuning in. I was minding my business. I had just eaten. I tuned into no jumper and DW's missing. And I'm like, oh snap. Hey. Hey, shout out Danny from the stop. That was dope, man. Yeah, shout out Danny. Look, that bro. That was dope. Uh... I feel like he needs to. I feel like, right? Mr. I know the culture so much. I feel like if you know the culture so much, you should realize who you be talking to sometimes and who you not talking to and, and who can. Like, if certain homies that I fuck with, I do say, bitch, I'm not going to say that with everybody. You got know what I'm saying? Because I have a rapport with you. And you would know that if, you know what I'm saying? Because you that's just something that we know. But you know, you, you know what I'm saying? Like... Maybe that's how we grow up. Maybe that's our culture. And we just yeah. know, like, you know what I'm saying? Certain things you don't necessarily start, say to certain people, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like being in a certain space, you got to know how to talk to certain people. Like, you can't talk to everyone the same way. Mm -hmm. You just can't. Like, are you going to talk to your cousins and shit, how you talk to people at your office job? You get what I'm saying? Like, you're going to talk to everybody differently. Like, you know? So I feel like, are you going to talk to a kid like you talk to a grown-ass man? You Are you going to talk to a lady like you talk to a man? You feel me? You're going to talk to everybody different. It, it so I think I got to learn how to talk to people. I, it looked like to me Adam was trying to unlock DW's character. Like unlock that character. Of mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. show some action on here. Turn the, You think he said that on purpose is what you're saying? Like kind of, mm. yeah. Like, I do think he was trying to spark he, like a heated combo. Yeah, like mm -hmm. character He's been too calm character character lately. Unlocked. He's yeah, a big dude. dude. He wants him to yeah. fire yeah, real life too, Because I think it's been because everybody been up here unlocking so yeah. it's like, <laughs> let's be I'm honest, right. like, everybody's been kind of up here unlocking. So it's like, maybe, I'm just trying to look at it from an outsider's perspective, even though I know I'm in the building. I'm just like, maybe that's what it was. Like, here, my nigga, tell me why. Because Adam would have sat there and just listened. Mm. I'm like, oh, okay, my bad. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess we'll Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If it was me, you already know. I would have went off in that bitch. But yeah. everybody, look, he a street nigga. He just getting into podcasting, you know? So That's he's true, still true. learning how to handle his words and not just... Niggas got to realize that, bro. Podcasting is one of the only spaces where, and like I said, I think a couple weeks ago, like I'm still learning how to argue with a motherfucker and then see him the next day and like nothing happens. I like, used to walk off. You know what I'm saying? I used like, to walk off, bro. You, like you got to... It happens, but you gotta come back. You gotta keep going. Like no, nah, but I'm saying yeah. though, but the like, party boy antics. Like I kind of understand like he, the trolling of it all. Like you know what I mean? Like I don't know. White boy humor is like totally different. Like you know what I'm saying? It's all the gay talk. 
a lot of stuff like that. So if you can't handle something like that, like I but don't some know, grown men ain't with being called no bitch. Yeah, and I just like, feel and like I, just I can't be mad at that neither. Like yeah, I don't think don't we can use word. the um if you can't handle that because you just you can't talk to everybody the same way. Like you just yeah. can't because people like, are sensitive. At the everybody's end of the day, different. But there's some people who don't give a fuck if you're sensitive for sure. They're like shit. And is that weak for you to be sensitive like that about the shit like that? I don't, I don't know. think so. I don't think so. And the grown, mean, a grown ass man called shit. And to hold a grudge for like days. Like, I fired on a nigga. He called me a bitch in here. Can't let shit go after that is 10 true. minutes. Hey, I fired on a nigga. Nigga called me a bitch in here and I punched his shit <laughs> right, right but up. you thought about it how many times Fuck after you, that? Zero. No, what I mean, like, mean? after he called you a bitch, did you think about it every day? Like, shit, I'm about to fuck this nigga up. Like, every day, like, you thinking about that nigga, like... Uh, no, but so I'm not going to act like, like if I ain't see that nigga right now, I probably wouldn't do it again. Like, you don't understand because you're not a man. How many years does it take, though, like, None. to let go of something? A nigga said something to me on Instagram three years ago. I right. seen him at a weed shop two years later <laughs> and slapped the dog shit out of him and got up here. I'm, you can't <laughs> talk to... I'm the wrong guy to do this with. Like, nah, like, you feel me? I don't Yo, give a fuck when it was. two years is funny. A nigga say something, I don't give a fuck when I see you. We are going to have something. It's gonna, something it's gonna happen about that shit, right. nah. But I feel like maybe you don't get it because you're not a man, and yeah, it's just different being a man. Yeah, because when it comes to money, yeah, like, like a bitch stole like 4K from me. Like I see her three years from now, like I'm dogging. See her See what shit. it is is it's disrespect. Maybe what's disrespectful to you is disrespectful to a man. But yeah. bottom line is disrespect has no time frame on it. Okay, I'm beating your ass regardless. It don't matter. Like just you felt disrespect, I'm gonna feel disrespect. Like I'm beating if a nigga disrespected you in high school, like and you saw him whooping his ass. Fuck you talking okay. about? We're not letting that shit go. <laughs> like ten years later, you feel like money is disrespectful, yeah. and I feel like certain shit you say is disrespectful. So yeah, same shit, be. disrespect is crossed, man. You gotta whoop a nigga ass, but. And this shit, I just feel like he's still learning to how to podcast just like how I am. So it's like, niggas aren't aren't used to you saying wild, outlandish shit. And they just can't be like, nigga, we finna get down. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gotta realize that that's where we come from, bro. Niggas say certain shit. If this shit can't be handled with words, we just finna fight and it'll be gonna be cool after. So niggas are still learning how or to not. just handle shit verbally. Or, or not, you yeah. feel me? But niggas just, <laughs> niggas are still learning how to handle all this shit verbally. No cap. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I like... I'm learning, and even then, when I got into it with Adam, like nigga, boy, when that nigga said whole ass shit, nigga, I had to get the fuck up, go go uh, look myself in the mirror, nigga. <laughs> I like, thought you did a good it. job in that scenario, so, <laughs> so, like, of like, like, not it. walking <laughs> out, but giving yourself like that one minute or so of yeah, like, hey, but I'm gonna I'm say it like this. And I, this is how I look at I'm it. like, I boy, like, you out here pushing lines. Like I'm finna go take a breather because, nigga, I'm this close. Hey, and I'm going to say it, and I don't give a fuck how I get to it. See, this is what happens. Adam put somebody on a main show that is still trying to grow, you know what I'm saying, in the building. You know what I mean? So, like, you got to still build some camaraderie with him before you start trying to pull that type of shit with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're putting him into the main a main character movement with you and expecting him to be able to take all the antics, but... He's still like he's still trying to find growth, dog. Mm -hmm. He's still trying to grow here. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying? saying. Like he's still learning you're how to maneuver. Off, I don't even give a fuck anybody. You could put suspect there. Like you gotta put somebody there that knows what the fuck you're about to pull, and the shit that you kind of own. Like Almighty said, he would have just kind of went back and forth with him, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I would have like went back and forth. Adam was looking yeah. for. Yeah. I would have fired his ass up, nigga. No cap. Right. So <laughs> but you the only seat. bad bitch here, nigga. You wear thongs. You <laughs> tell me how to fire this shit up in this <laughs> like, bitch. No cap. I I'd have been like, I know you're not talking bad bitch thong, man. <laughs> like, he should have fired him up, yeah, you know? No, but like I said, that's a street nigga, bro. That's a street nigga. He's still learning how to, you feel me? Like, nigga, some people not with all that arguing, not with all that talking. I'm just a debater. That's what I'm going to do. If I'm passionate about the argument, I'm going to debate you down yeah. until I can't no more. But yeah. everybody not like that. Some niggas, as soon as this gets to, and that wasn't even really debatable, nigga. Mm -hmm. That was like, you look, you disrespected that man. Like, you feel me? You disrespected that nigga calling him bad bitch. You got to realize, bro, putting bitch in some shit, you should have used your words a little better and, yeah. and said something differently. Like, nigga, you had, you had conceited vibes. You was on some stuck up shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? That's what you should have said, nigga. You had your nose up in the air with, 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 when it came to the party shit. That's yeah. what a nigga should have said. But bad bitch energy. And then he doubled down later and was like, I ain't gonna lie, you guys. Like, walking out, it's kind of like, dude, it's kind of like, you know, verifying the bad bitch energy. It was crazy, yeah. bro. But it's to crazy. be fair, he's not wrong in that example. I don't think that that's bad bitch energy because you got to realize, bro, everybody not just going to talk. Some niggas want to fight. So out of respect mm -hmm. for all of this shit here, I'm going to leave. 
Yeah, no, I feel you. Some that's not bad, bitch. Hey, that's no offense. He, 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 that was real hey, nigga hey, energy hey, instead of real. fucking him up. Hey, I look at it like this. It's not bad, bitch energy. Some niggas don't know how to talk like that. Hey, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Everybody they don't not know how to, They're not Some going niggas just going to fire your shit up. Yeah, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Out of respect for everything, I'm finna just get up and leave, bro, because I respect up. you too much and I respect myself. I'm not going to crash out and do no dumb shit. I respect my job. I think that's being a grown man for real is getting up and walking off, you know? No cap. But. I, I think I don't know, bro. I had a was I can't act for like a nigga. To, I, he was looking for mm-hmm. DW to turn up, bro. I'm telling you, I saw the whole play. He did say no he, disrespect first. He, he thought was that was gonna be a good. No 30. disrespect. Whenever a nigga say no disrespect, disrespect is immediately coming well, out. Well, he said it. No, you have to don't. assume what's said, coming out of the person's mouth is going to be unbelievably said, disrespectful. But he even said though before Fact. it was said, he said, "Hey, when he said no disrespect, he said, hey, don't do that." Facts. I was like, fuck yeah. that, it's coming already. <laughs> it's the train coming. has already left the station. <laughs> <laughs> it must be fun to be Adam on God. Fuck the train. God damn. Like I said, Dude, I see there's what nobody I... better than Adam <laughs> at what he does. Like, he, there isn't Adam is not. Adam is. I see where, listen to me, I see where DW coming from, but I also see where Adam coming from too. Mm-hmm. Like, Great guy. I see both sides, to be honest with you. And Adam's not, I think, trying to get DW to walk out in that situation. He's trying to get a heated. Conversation, a back and forth about it. Uh, it's heated. Uh, you got to choose your words a little to bit. To be honest, that one, man. and that's cool too. But that's really how I took it. And I and DW, he got to see that too. That that's what that nigga's on. He's trying to get the you. You got to know it in your head. All right, this is what Adam doing. Is Adam telling bad bitch energy off camera? No. You know what I'm saying it's brought on camera to mm-hmm. have him engage and to have the fans engage. Like, oh shit, now it's bringing more people in. DW just. Fucking crashed out on Adam. Adam would have took the crash out if you asked me. Mm. Yeah. Just saying. I but think like that this said, nigga made a real good talk. point. Look, look. This nigga made a real good point. Content, Travis said, context and audience is key in a joke. Especially when it's white people jokes and gang members. I'm fat. Only my close homies can crack fat jokes respectfully. You feel me? Because it's like once you build a rapport with somebody, it's different. Like like Brick said up there, like, nigga, my 10-year niggas, we might call each other bitch back and forth mm-hmm. all day. But don't let some nigga up in this bitch get the bitch. Boy, who's you talking to? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's it's context and your audience is your key. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's around and who says, who's saying it to you really matters. Like, the rapport really matters. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he should have just used his words a little differently. He, sh- he probably should have, like I said, nigga, you had conceited energy, nigga, you had your nose up type shit, you was acting bougie. That's probably what he... You wanted he that lefty that, gunplay uh, that situation. Re- <laughs> that would have revoked the... A debate more so. If it would have been like, nigga, you just walk around here with your nose up because he did. <laughs> but, um, exactly. That's what he said. Also, to like go more with this point is context and audience. This is Adam and the No Jumper show. That was not like out of context for Adam or at all. Like at him all. talking on the No Jumper show. I think when right? he says context and audience, yeah. he means the person that you're saying yeah, it to. Yeah. You know? Exactly. But like, don't, like you but have I'm to watch like the kind of episodes. pushing back a little bit on DW, kind of being aware of where he was in that. And I so think like, he did the right thing by getting up and walking off. Because he like, it's like, look, I know exactly what you're going to say. And I know, you feel me, me and the type of nigga that I am. So I'm just going to get up and, and, and remove myself from the situation. Because I'm not really necessarily a nigga that could go back and forth with certain shit like that. Putting it, putting myself in his shoes. Like, not me mm-hmm. per se. Because I would have fired his ass up. You I'd feel have me? Fired him up. Yeah, I would have fired fuck his ass up. You would have been like, shut the fuck up for I fuck your ass. But I Whoa. also know <laughs> Never Adam, like, though. <laughs> like, 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 me personally, I also, I also know That's Adam. You I also know Adam, and if he would have said that to me, I would have had a whole different rebuttal. Like, nigga, you be having bad bitch energy. Fuck mm-hmm. you I would have fired, fired this shit up. He was a nigga up here with thongs and shit. I would have fired this shit up. Who's the man? That's what I said. I would have fired this shit up. Like, it was supposed to be I would have called niggas thong man and all kind of shit. You was supposed to fire his shit up. awkward moment. But I can't be mad at him for you feel me but like i said when me when when adam hit me with the, you are like a whole ass nigga in here i immediately had to get the fuck up dog I, yo hat the side flap slap boy i had to get up <laughs> walk in the bathroom like, real quick that shit look good over with no voice wash my Your hands cheeks turn red a little bit i had to bit. look myself in the mirror i was like boy it looked like they put y'all all in this room, out here and there's wilding. like that glass right there. You just see them all in there tripping out on and each it, other. It's but look, if I would have like, if when y'all I would have did what DW did, I would have lost. Yeah, I would have took the L. <laughs> Super. I would have took the L. Super. But because I didn't, I stayed and fired this shit up. So some that's more, definitely an L. I took the W. I'm not saying that that's in that instance, but if I would have walked out yeah. with, with with me and him debate, you feel me? I would have took the L because them them comments all said I took the W. So you feel me? And but I ain't gonna lie, that was more of a of a crazy shot. 
I ain't gonna lie. It was, just, it, was just, it was crazy, bro. Yeah. Like I said, I see both parties. Yeah, I get it because, it's because you, I, I can you gotta know white men DW, and white men jokes. I can understand where DW came from as a real nigga, but me knowing Adam, I know why he did what he mm -hmm. did too. Like I, we all know that's how this white boy get down. Yeah, you gotta like, understand white man jokes. If you know, if you know Adam, you know that's. I for sure. But every nigga don't play like that. And, and this you gotta understand too. white man Not jokes, but every nigga don't play. Every like nigga that. don't play like that. You know. <laughs> No God. Put me in the boardroom. I can shoot shots with the best of them. Yeah, this is wild, but man. All right, let's get into some fucking some news, man. Uh, Gunna is confirmed to not be taking the stand in Young Thug's ongoing RICO trial, but Birdman still remains on the witness list. Gunna, who previously accepted a controversial plea deal in the case, will not be called to take the stand after the judge ordered the prosecution to cut down on the number of witnesses they plan to question. There were originally over 700 named witnesses put forward by the state, but now only 200 could be called to take part in the trial. Gunner's name was removed from the from the revised witness list, as was Lil Wayne and Thug's brother Umfunk, who was previously sentenced to over nine years in prison. Notable names that may also still be called to testify include Cash Money co-founder Birdman and Thug's previous close collaborator Rich Homie Kwan. YFN Lucci is also on the witness list. So what are they trying to say about that? Oh, I was watching this shit this morning, honestly. I think uh, Mr. White they had on the... Stan, he was very uncooperative, and I think that's how it's gonna go for every witness that they bring. So you don't feel like anybody gonna cooperate? They're not. They're very they're uncooperative. uncooperative. They're like dragging people out that had nothing to do with it. They're they're desperate. It seems like the prosecution is very desperate right now, and it's not going as smooth as I they thought. I think they're gonna come home. It might take them another year. But I just hope they don't mistrial him like again. Melly, and then. Yeah, I ain't gonna keep lie. him in there. I think Melly cooked. Free that nigga. Bro. I'm like free Melly, free like bro. If y'all ain't got it, y'all ain't got it. I think like, he cooked, but free that nigga. You know. Oh no, he's deaf. I think cooked. Melly's cooked. You think but, so? Yeah, but free that man though. Yeah, I don't want to see no nigga in jail. I think I'm he was. He shit. beat the he beat the death penalty, right? They took that off the table. I think so. Yes. But he's definitely looking yeah, at life. Cooked, and that's Florida. They don't play. Oh yeah, yeah. They cook niggas. You feel me? But free that nigga. I don't like seeing niggas in jail. Do but you this, think, you know, now that it's known that Gunna won't be testifying, like, does this r kind of remove all remaining snitch rat allegations tied to his name? Because I feel like people, it didn't stick. Like, he's one of the few people that came out, was able to put music out that people still fucked with. You know, does this, like, completely exonerate him? Look, you know, is that going to drop? Music-wise, people still fuck with him, but on God, like, a lot of his close friends, you, you see all his friends, they don't fuck with that nigga no more. So, yeah, music, he was one of the ones who was able to maneuver through and still keep dropping successful music. Mm -hmm. But, like, his actual personal life and, like, friends and all of this shit, you see the kind of music he's, he's been dropping. getting caught around niggas, but it ain't been his circle. It's not his circle. It's not like, his it's, circle. It's not the niggas he used to be with. It was at Offset. All. Offset was with him hmm. in Vegas. I Offset think was. was with him. Yeah, yeah. little baby don't fuck with that nigga but no the, more. Yeah, but the yeah. Nigga, does like, Metro fuck with him? I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that he nigga, like he don't need Y'all remember the kind of music he was dropping when he first came out? It was on some super, like, they don't fuck with me no more, but I'm still doing my thing. I'm still surviving mm -hmm. ass music. So it's like it's obvious that he's in a different space of where, like, I don't got no friends right now and I'm just thugging by myself. And you get that through the music, like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if this is going to help. That per se, like with his yeah. homies and shit, but maybe the music wise probably so. Because at the end of the you know? day, he's on record on video saying like, "Yes, YSL is a gang," and that's the number one thing you that everybody's been that saying away. that it's not. So it's like, but they're not even using his testimony. Oh yeah, well, yeah, like, but it's like people that. seen but it. But you still you said, said that it. shit. It, they're not using yeah. it, but it's like they're that, like, "Oh, it's enough. We've seen it on but video." But wasn't like Thug's comment on this that like he's doing him like leave him alone. I don't know What's if it? we ever What's got it? anything from him. I feel like we've never really heard Not anything from, from him. I heard him pretty much say he ain't fucking with Buddy. And he was calling him Buddy the whole time. No, I don't he think he said, ever said that name. publicly. For some reason, like, I thought I'd seen him like post thing. his music. No, and then he, he took, took it down. Phone right, well, took posted it down. his music. It was still under he yeah. took it down, though. Fast. I also think it was still under YSL, too. Yeah, I mean, when I seen him post the music, I was like, they must be cool still. Like, there must be, he just can't speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Gonna gotta go through all this shit with everybody in the world until Thug is done with this shit. Then maybe Thug will come out and be like, bro, y'all been on this man's head for all this time for no reason. Yeah, this it's might really be what they thug. talked about before he ever took the plea, too. You know, right. this could have been the long play for him, his legal team, and Thug's Literally. team, too. Yeah, nah, I I think that um that, that nigga Gunna was one of the only ones to be able to maneuver through that shit for sure, but I'm ready for this young thug. Uh, that so that shit's been with. drug out entirely For too real. Long, it's a... It's, it's a... Circus. It's a shit show up there. It's a circus, <laughs> bro. And then the girl, the lady, the prosecutor, like she's coming for Trump too. 
He's dissecting her entire life. Hell, he's been dissecting her <laughs> ass the entire motherfucking time. He's been on her. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, but that's his strategy to avoid the people been... looking at him. Like, that's the point at the point yeah. of prosecuting him. Before we get into this, you want to read some Super Chats? Yeah, yeah let's get to Let's go to the top. top. Um, Travis uh, dropped five and he said, now this cast we love. I'm listening under my helmet welding. That's fire. You out there doing hard work and dangerous work, and I know you got a bag on you. Shout mm -hmm. out all y'all for bobbing and weaving as much as possible and that keeping well it pushing. That welding get you paid. Facts. Sure, for right. You might not see your family for half the year, but you out here getting that bag. Yeah. No cap. Uh, DW literally said earlier in the pod that he was working on his growth. He responded and didn't react. Just ordered a no <laughs> jumper news shirt. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to you, uh, That's fucked up, but you know. He Facts. come through every day. Eminem dropped five dollars. He said, "W says don't let nobody say different." Good looking. No cap. Uh, scroll down a little yeah. bit. Um, how many? Uh, how many? We can't read. read that. No? It says, "How many times is Zan going to wear those shoes?" Actually, these are brand new. Like I don't know. I think they're like a month old, and I have like four pair of Ricks. So I think you're like. I think you're wrong. I think you need and to we check the Rick. You right? Like I think you need to check the Rick website the at the same time. <laughs> right. Was I supposed to wear these bitches twice and just <laughs> never wear them again? Like niggas up here every day. Stop eating dick. For real. When it comes to shoes, it's like, bro, come on. I'm <laughs> dick. I ain't gonna lie. I'd, I'd rather wear some flip flops right now, honestly. I tell you, nigga, I've been here two years, nigga. I didn't came in this bitch with slippers. You niggas lucky if I get dressed. I'm chilling. That's okay. <laughs> uh Adam loves good old heated chat. Josh, let the 22 to know CTS. Lil Wick needs a conversation with Adam, a white drill rapper that's beat a murder case. Shout out to 507, man. I'll right. see you, man. Yeah, that's some crazy shit right there. Uh, the Third Lifer, why uh, you think gonna album called Gift and Curse? You right. You right. You feel me? He was going through shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. you right. No okay. cap. I'll take that one. All right, let's get into this shit, though. This is kind of crazy. Why be in the mirror has responded to allegedly getting robbed of his chain while out in Compton, an Instagram user boasted that had snatched a piece of jewelry from the mirror and flaunted it across social media. Yeah, he, he said something. Let's see. He trying to say it's not his chain? I'm sure he probably did. Let's see. I don't know, because I don't Papa know that nigga. Gonna post, is this the end of the mirror? You, I think he might have already Oh, did. he did? I don't know. He probably already did. Why niggas be putting they fucking they big ass medallion on, on this rope chain? I think that they probably put the rope chain on it because they snatched oh, it. Oh, that's the nigga broke. who snatched it. You feel me? He probably that, that's probably his own rope chain that he put on. Bro, it. you because niggas do that. They snatch the chain, break it. it well, he and got then put the chain their own with rope. A rope chain. What right there? This is him. Oh yeah. Or he to get one of these. Those beats. Easy in the bitch, yeah, homie. Take my it's easy to get one of these. It's easy to get one of these, man. Yeah. It's easy to get one of these. I can show you how to rap a rapper or something when she at that, you hear me? I can show you how to do it, like get him up, like give it up or something, like I'm saying. These. You know how hard it is to get one of these? Easy in the bitch. Easier than the bitch. <laughs> and if that nigga make an edit, hey, that was hilarious, bro. These, hey, hey bro, go put street, that bitch on a Cuban. <laughs> I'm finna be Flaco. Hey, these street hooligans are getting advanced. <laughs> nigga snatched your shit and made an edit, nigga, and dropped it on his story. It's crazy, bro. No, That's real. wild. That's I've never hard. seen a nigga have an edit on his shit. Like, that was hilarious. Next, he need a music video with the chain on, and it's over. All I right, think play the response. Let's see. Let's see if what he on. What do you on, Jack? I'm literally just getting up. <laughs> what the fuck do niggas be talking about, good? Like, what the fuck be going? Oh, this shit be fake as hell. The internet be fake to the bitch. I'm literally just getting up. <laughs> uh, Maybe play a it few again. people play have it. Again. That looks bigger. <laughs> what the fuck do niggas be talking about, good? Is that the same B chain? No, it's not. That one's a little small for him that to wear. That is a little smaller. That's like one of his little friends was. Because probably somebody else. And that's why Meek be taking mm. every And you every know why being kind of disbanded. So, yeah, his looks you know, thicker. it's probably a different niggas. It's probably a different YBN niggas. Or like one of his homie that's in it, yeah. It's a different nigga other than Namir. Because a sure. lot of niggas used to be from YBN and they not no more. Oh. You feel me? So maybe it was a nigga who used to be from there. Because he's damn near like the last YBN like standing member. Like that shit disbanded. You know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah. I'm, 
niggas been how white being chained. So maybe one of them niggas got that shit took to somebody else. Who but knows? did he say or it maybe was this is the other chain? You feel me? Because that's not the same beats from the last chain either. The last chain had beads on. That's a different chain. Did he say like it's easy as fuck, or did he say I snatched this shit? Like he said it's easy. He didn't say I snatched it. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. This is a this a wobbler. Who knows? I don't know. But see, I can't confirm. That's the not. shit that I be talking about though. Like if you gonna get your team chains right, mm -hmm. make sure that those chains is different from the one that you wear. Right. So that way, niggas put niggas' can names know, on each. You can know it's who it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this is one of the chains that many have gotten versus this nigga's chain's a little different, maybe bigger, different type of diamond, different quality of shit. Just makes it a little different. Like, mm -hmm. when you, when you, everybody got the same chain, you can claim anybody throughout that clique that got that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Why well, I mean, ain't got the same, uh, Namir got the same chain as his homies. Shit, it ain't no different. The internet spins shit so quick. 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 Yeah, you never know. The quickest. Know. But don't you guys feel too like the chain snatching videos? It's like one of the biggest like easiest thing to fake too. It's the yeah. easiest thing it's to like do. The easiest thing to fake. Yeah, because he could. A nigga get that who shit from used to wear market. my chain in my bathroom posted a video in my bathroom with my chain. Yeah. And it was like we just snatched this shit. You lying? It's in my bathroom. <laughs> this a nigga that I used to fuck with. Did you with, beat you his me? ass afterwards? I, how you I, I had already. It's an old video. Like he, he had an old video on his phone for being in my crib in the bathroom with the chain on. After I stopped fucking with this nigga, he hit the internet with a video in my house. Talk about, yeah, tell that nigga go get his shit back. Bitch, that's my Did bathroom. Did anybody pull up and be like, this yo, my he got his shit snatched? What are you talking about? Put me get your <laughs> shit. Then it's my shower curtains in the back. Nigga, that's you, crazy. you done posted a two-year-old video talking about, come get your shit. Nigga, I've been so that. What are you talking about? You know niggas be on that type of time. So it's really the easiest thing to fake. <laughs> but who know? That's probably somebody chain, but it looks slightly different. Mm. It looks a lot smaller. It looks different. Less detail. The one that he showed looked like he had some. That's the real. It looked like some details of that motherfucker. Yeah, it looked different. I don't know. You never know, bro. Should be freaky out here, man. Yeah. What we got next? Oh my god. This All right. So we got a uh, Ryan right. Garcia has just gone off the rails on X over some new beef with Kanye West. It is. It all reportedly began when the 25-year-old sent out a tweet to 50 Cent on April 3rd. He asked 50 to walk out with him for his upcoming fight on April 20th with Devin Haney. In that request, he also said no Diddy. As a reference to running jokes surrounding Diddy's sexual assault allegations, this led him to send at least 16 vicious verbal attacks towards Kanye. What the fuck? The fuck is going he's on? He's still. Um, I really used to think he was cool. Like he seemed like a clown now. That Damn. nigga's on drugs or something. My bro. nigga Devin Haney just dropped some I think he on shirts. bipolar drugs yeah, or something. I'm fucking with see, Devin Haney now. You ain't see uh, Devin Haney. He just dropped some T-shirts that says Ryan's not La Raza. It says not Raza. It says Mexicans for Devin. Hmm. Mexicans for Haney. It's like he's they dropped shirts. some voodoo on that That's nigga crazy. or something. Like selling why he shirts saying he like ain't Raza. Nah, I just think he on bipolar meds or something. Like that's a nigga who owns some type of meds. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he want to fight. And I think if he he's gonna try to if he loses this fight, he's gonna try to blame all this shit. Hmm. This right here is a smoke and mirrors for it. Like oh, yeah. well, I wasn't at my best mentally. You well, know. he shouldn't be fighting at all. No, nah, he shouldn't be. But when there's so much money on the table. Niggas ain't leaving that. Who's There's putting millions. money up for him? There's millions on the Somebody table. Somebody is. This Yo, is a, I'm going straight to Vegas and I'm betting this against is, this, this man. This is considered a super fight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, at this point. Um, it, it's it's not a fucking Mike Tyson whoa back in the day, but these niggas is young. They both got great records. Well, Devin, he's undefeated. You know, uh, they're going to want to try to get his O up out of there. But to me, I feel like this is all antics to if I lose this fight, mm -hmm. I can blame all this shit on him and it won't hurt and tarnish my career. Cause he been talking more shit than a little bit and then he just, he had fought, he had fought fucking Tank. That was just the worst. Yeah. Cause he talked all that shit and then got whooped on. They said that that's how he got a brain injury. I, I don't know. He got hit in the abdomen. Oh really? Brain injury. He got hit right here. He shut his whole nervous system down. Oh shit, yeah. They said he's he never didn't been the same since. And he didn't feel it at first. He was standing there and he just dropped. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. That dude got shut down. He, I think he's afraid that, like, this might fuck with, you know, his career. Let's play the video. What do you say? Why Kanye mad at me for saying no Diddy? He lost it when he said he was the new Jesus. Kanye thought he was invis invisible, 
invincible? Is it invisible? It's, in, it's, it's, invisible. It's, it's invisible, but maybe he needed. I feel like he, he meant invincible. Okay. Yeah. Kanye thought retarded. he was invisible. He cool, but when you say the things you say, then it will come back around. You really loved Kim and you lost her. Pete had her. That's sad. Carnival helped you. Still, you really defending someone that feds on. And the crazy thing is you told everyone about him and now you changed your tune because you ex exalted exalted yourself higher than God. You aren't God. No one cares about Kanye anymore. Nigga. Where is okay. all this coming from? Um, he says it's not a black thing or a color a color thing. It is someone that did something wrong thing. If Diddy did wrong, then he did wrong. I don't give a fudge about color. The feds don't show up if there isn't any solid proof. Sad to see people defending this. Nobody even care. Nobody's even talking about Yeezys. He's trying to use Jesus' name to sell shoes and his whole brand. He calls himself Yeezus. Bro is a fan of Jesus and tried to be Jesus. That's the devil, the one who thought he was God. <sighs> Ryan, I you wish you would stop talking hey, about bro, this Hey, bro, shut the fuck up and go to a bro. gym. Shut up, bitch, and hit the gym. That's all I got for you. Bitch, shut up, pick up some gloves, bitch, and punch something. We don't want to hear you tweet. Look at all these tweets. Shut the fuck up. We don't care for it. You're. Where did this come from? What did, what did Kanye West even say to you? What are you even talking about right now? Shut up, bitch. Box. We don't care about your... Social justice opinions, bitch. We don't come to you for that, bitch. That's, that's what I really believe. Box. That's what I really don't get. Like, come on, Fuck. church. Like, you gotta... None of this has anything to do with boxing right now. None of this. That's what I'm saying. He's afraid to go in there, and I hate to say it for him. Like, he's gonna... He, he, he's afraid he's gonna get his ass whooped. And he don't want that to hurt his brand. He don't want that to knock him down a lower rank. Because, see, when you start losing fights like that, mm -hmm. now the purse gets lowered. Mm -hmm. Now, sponsorships aren't so quick to come fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to lose none of that shit. Yeah, he's got some bread, but he's he's still young. Mm -hmm. But look, 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 look. that shit can run out already if he don't make if he don't keep the fucking fire going now. He doing all this shit for 19 retweets, nigga. Wow. 19 retweets, 47, 10, 10, and 200. 48 Boy, comments. you get the fuck out of here, nigga. Ain't nobody even watching this shit for real. Nobody's liking it, retweeting it. Bro, you a famous ass boxer and your tweets are irrelevant. Wow. Like some of my tweets get more retweets than what you're talking about right now. You're and right. I'm not Ryan Garcia. No, like, that's literally. You see what crazy. I'm saying? Like, bro, and nobody's listening to you. You should probably just shut the fuck up. When is this fight? You shadow banned, Ryan. When's the fight? When is the 20th? The 20th? Yeah. Oh, really? Bitch ass nigga supposed to be in the gym. Bitch, you got 10 days. And you over here on Twitter. What are you doing? Nigga, your trainer, you take your phone, do something, nigga. You know what I noticed? We say that a lot up here. That some of these people, like, and it ain't even just boxers, suspect. So it be rappers, mm -hmm. like the shit with Meek Mill. Like, take some of these niggas' phones, They don't bro. need, this is what I'm saying, bro. Everybody yeah. don't need an opinion. Come on, dog. You like, you can have an opinion, but it don't matter to everybody. But honestly, everybody don't need a voice for real. I miss the days when you had to actually do something for your voice to matter. <laughs> you had to actually do something. And then if you did something, like, nigga, we only care about what you're talking about in that field. Nigga, basketball, talking about hockey. Nigga, tell you, shut the fuck up. Bitch, you play basketball. It's you don't know nothing about no up. hockey. Shut your you ass just up. just jumping on the bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you had to do something in your, in a specific field to be able to talk about that field, per se. You had to yeah. do something for niggas to care. Like, you know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan can tell you about basketball. We don't give a fuck about what Michael Jordan think about politics, nigga. He ain't <laughs> do shit in the politics. We don't give a fuck about what you think about the Antichrist and Kanye, bitch. Box. We don't Man. care. You feel me? Like, nigga, Man. say something about boxing. Make a Mike Tyson, Nevin, Muhammad Ali tweet or something. Nevin ain't did none of this, though. That's what? what's crazy. Like, no. No, hell no. Didn't he give himself to Muslim faith? Yeah. Yeah, so he's on a whole His other daddy, way. BH, man, they're big on that. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. He's not going to be out here looking like a clown like this, man. I got something special coming. Y'all going to see yourself. I think bro out here losing his mind. I ain't going to lie. I think he's on some sort of drugs, maybe some bipolar ones. It's something, bro. I'm or telling just, like, you. like psyching himself out. I think he's on something and he's bugging uh, out. I don't even think it's just drugs. You feel like Big Pharma has him in a choke? I off? feel like he. <laughs> this is all a play. That's just my personal opinion. Is in just in case I lose, I can blame it on mental health. I can blame it on me. Mm -hmm. I, this nigga's been saying some outlandish, that would work, way though. out shit. Talking about some shitty song in the woods. I don't even want to get to that. He's doing like, too much. Yeah, Are they not like, gonna can can they not take your um your boxing license for shit like this? 
Ooh, that's a good question. You feel me? No, but they can deem so. you not fit to fight. That's what I'm and saying. That's what so I'm like, thinking. Like he's either looking for, he's pushing for it. Because like, can they do? Because like, bro, the doctor can definitely. Ain't deem mental you not health to fight. like a you know it's 2025. Mental health is like the the greatest thing in the world these days. You feel me? So like a nigga ain't got his mental health right. Like, is, are they still gonna allow this man to fight? Yeah, um, this nigga talking I about I, so. I heard Kim puts her finger in Kanye butt allegedly. Is this it, is the biggest tweet he has right here. Is the is and it has one. 81 retweets, <laughs> bro. You really should just get the fuck off the internet. You look stupid, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It, he's doing the fake crazy. Kanye sucks dick allegedly. Kanye defends Balenciaga mm -hmm. after what they did to kids. He's actually is dumb. Nick he actually is dumb. Nixon spoke against the Bohemian Grove. Hey, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yo. This nigga. Yo, what's up with All right, bro? dog. This nigga talk about the Bohemian Grove and shit once again, bitch. I don't even Box. like to like laugh at people who have mental problems, so it's just like I don't know if he's serious or not. Box, bro. We don't care about your conspiracy Bohemian Grove theories. I promise, bitch. Put some gloves on and go spar with somebody, nigga. Stop you know, tweeting. I'm gonna tell you this. The fuck? See, especially for like athletes, like entertainers and shit like that. Like once you cross over to this shit, it's very, very hard to get out of this quicksand. Mm -hmm. Like because now you're 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 jumping over to a whole nother. Your 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 job is to entertain, box, be a role model. It's not get online and get into antics with everybody else because you'll throw yourself in that box and you won't get out of it. So it's best for you to kind of like just bro, just take the high road, my nigga. Look over that shit. This shit is small. With anything you over here doing right now is is trash. You ain't got no bro. Go to the gym. Like you, and you, he's got good parents, bro. I don't even know what the, what's Henry saying about this. His dad. Like, what are you? Why are you allowing him to do this right now, bro? Look, I've talked, I've interviewed his dad and his little brother. I got another one, right? This nigga's talking about sad and no one cares, but you sad and no one cares. You buy his shoes because he spun the narrative. You are actually fucked in the head. Ryan Garcia, do you wear Gucci? Do you wear Louis Vuitton? Mm -hmm. Do you wear Chanel? Have so many of these people that came out with these racist you. ass allegations Man, and like bro, all this kind of shit. So if you gonna use the oh y'all still buy his shoes mm -hmm. after you say, then bitch you probably still buy Gucci and Gucci don't want you wearing shoes, nigga. <laughs> I, I, I guarantee you one of these motherfuckers was was a uh, pro 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 that wall and you buying shit. You feel me? Like, man, stop. Mm -hmm. Don't be talking about, oh, you still buying shit with narrative, but it's it's That's niggas who hate. own who own all these, you feel me, uh uh designer ass companies that don't want you buying them and you still do. So what the fuck are yeah. you talking about? Why aren't you promoting your dad's Shut speed up. bag? Like they dad, like they dad, they created a, a certain, I think it's a certain speed bag that they created. Their yeah. family. Like, promote that, bro. Right, like niggas be taking too much do time some, out of their yeah. platform. Bohemian girl. Talk shit about Take other people instead of getting that your speed bag. bag up. And saying like, what you're weird. using to get ready for this fight. Y'all yeah. should go purchase these. Fuck. Sell some shit, bro. <laughs> to me, this isn't selling the fight. That's why Devin had the op on was like, man, fuck it. I'm about to just start selling some t-shirts or something. Cause like. This dude over here trying to sell everything from yeah. him. Nah, bro, fuck all that. Kanye the Antichrist and Bohemian Grove. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Well, fuck all that, man. Kanye was the Antichrist. Kanye the Antichrist. And that's a, that's a big Grove. title for that man. Snickers. Uh, Out of everybody in the whole world that's the doing bad is low key shit. losing right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't think the Antichrist is going to come and lose, gang. <laughs> All the shit that's happening overseas and all these places and this nigga's Kanye there. and Adidas. He's, it's Kanye his fault. and Adidas is anti It's their fault. It's no, Kanye's fault. No, and that's a good point. It's wars in other countries, <laughs> but this nigga in his fight with Adidas is the Antichrist. <laughs> what just, the fuck? What I are you talking didn't. about right now? I didn't millions of people this. dying. Hundreds of thousands, family, but bro, this like, nigga. And Adidas. I listen, I know his family, bro. Like, I fuck with his family. I'm cool with them. I don't get why he's, this was never him. Like, that's why I don't understand these. Like, there's only two things I'm looking at. Like, you really got some mental illness? CTE. Or are you trying to really, like, back oh, okay. out? Okay, so you kind Nigga, of... Nigga, the last time I seen him get put down is by a stomach shot. Yeah. Wasn't even at the CTE. head. You know, years of getting hit in your shit, though. He's young. Yeah. You feel me? Years of getting hit in your shit. But, but niggas been boxing to children. Same thing. When you put kids in Pop Warner, by the time them niggas be 23, niggas' brains be fucking cooked. 26. Nigga make it to the NFL, play Pop Warner his whole life. You been getting banged in your head since you was eight. You know? Yeah. That's why I would never put my son in football. Nigga, I don't got yeah, no son. Yeah, that's bad. I would never put my Unless son in football. Unless you're like the quarterback or you're playing like one of those like 
facts. You got to be a position where a nigga don't get touched. Yeah. Because nigga, boy, you didn't get any hit in your head since you was seven or eight. Yeah, I know too and many dudes you, like that. You 29 and you make it to the league, boy, your brain probably the size of a fucking uh, sponge at that point. Like, no, you know, it's not. That shit not smooth. I ain't going to lie. CT real crazy. So for a nigga to be getting socked in his shit, who knows? You feel me? That's the best excuse for him. I'm not saying that that's what it is, but that's your most positive <laughs> Outlook on this one. Anything else, you just nuts and you out here losing your mind or you being a bitch and trying to get out the fight. We don't know. Henry, but do you me bucket. a favor. Henry. It's working though if you're trying to get out get the your, fight. Henry. Acting like a weirdo. Mr. Henry, please, man. Get your get your son, gang. Like, figure it out. Like, take this nigga's phone. Somebody, please take his phone. Come no on, cap. man. Rehab, nigga. He needs the intervention. Like, he what the, the fuck is going on? Probably every time they take it, he finds a way to get another one. And there's probably nobody in his camp who could whoop his ass, too. <laughs> exactly. You feel me? Who in his camp could whoop his ass? Because you know niggas don't... You know when a nigga get, bro, power, money, hands and guns, like, you know, this power... Things that are constructs yeah. of power make people feel different. How you gonna take a so grown-ass man? you can fight like that, a nigga be like, man, you can't tell me nothing. I'll knock you out in this bitch right now. Same thing a nigga with a gun. You ain't gonna tell me nothing. No, or fuck just me. even with bread. Or like money. You said, That's what I'm saying. Anything money. that, that yeah, equates like, power. I'm about to listen yeah. to you. more money than I'm, I'm richer than you. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Anything yeah. that equates power will so, make a motherfucker have definitely this, not gonna be able to take this superiority shit over you, and you ain't gonna listen to a nigga type shit. You know, he rich, and he can fight. What y'all gonna tell him? He yeah. got more money than you, and he'll beat you up. Yeah. I just think he's trying to cross over to like this like online, like this personality influencer type of ordeal. And it's not working. And I'm gonna go ahead and go with Travis Soga, man. Shout out to you. He said last sparring session Ryan had was with Bobby, with Bobby, the uh, little with white, white dude. bitch. Bobby, he said she must have rocked him one time. Like he shouldn't be doing all that. Like you hanging out with all these influencers, bro. You need to be in the gym. Facts. What Why are, are you, you not doing? fighting? Why are you not fighting, bro? You're hanging around all these personalities and influencers and media people. Like, what are you doing? Is he fighting though? Because there's no videos of him sparring lately, right? No, you don't do shit. Man. You don't make tweets. This dude been doing interviews. And be on influencer pages. And be on influencer pages and shit. So you might be For making real. a check off the, the social media stuff. He's like, I'm ready to Not compared to that boxing money, though. Nigga, not compared no, to yeah. boxing. Man, I ain't even you feel me? Yeah, for that shit don't compare to boxing. There's multi millions of dollars on the table for this. Yeah, nah. Boxing money is different. Nigga. You think niggas is worried? Who? About, like the ones who are, like want to put their money with Ryan. They should be. <laughs> Some nigga out here losing this. Because they already put their money who down is beforehand. Who's actually voting for Ryan right now, bro? Like, what if they had to put their money in, Besides, like, Besides, you know, months ago? You know Latinos stick with their own, so they going with that nigga. But who else? <laughs> who else? Like, let's be serious. And I feel like that's some. Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers are going to be like, man, we don't give a fuck if this Mexican. I'm, I'm Mexican and he suck. Yeah. You feel me? Like, you never know. But said, I'm going I just want to know who's behind this man right now. That's yeah. what I mean by all that. Like, who's behind you, sir? Like, I'm... Who's really going to bet on a nigga who out here talking no, about... No, for real. Yeah, Devin got Someone a hell of like, a support camp. He got a hell of a support system, Devin do. He didn't put 100K behind Devin. Because he's got his Devin family. His family is very hands-on. Like, they all to, they together at all times. Like, it ain't no... It ain't going to be no intrusion of a motherfucker trying to come and intrude around them or trying to come get up on them or do anything. You ain't going to do no interviews. Is he still with India? I could have he was he was getting... Who, was he engaged Devin? to her? Yeah. Oh shit, I don't India know. India Westbrooks. Mm hmm I don't be keeping up with niggas' sex life. I don't be shit. keeping up with niggas' shit. I mean, it's all over the internet, so it's mm -hmm. just like... I mean, I've only seen fights from Devin. Like, online, I only see fights, cars, him taking trips. I don't really mm -hmm. see him with... Yeah, I don't know. I don't be watching. Anybody like that, I mean... I have no clue. Talks about God. You know, I don't follow too many uh, famous really... niggas. I'm just wondering, because he's Muslim now. Oh, uh, they yeah. broke up at the beginning of March. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that I was really wasn't recent. paying attention then. Everything I see on him is him working out, him training, him going on a vacation, him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really see him posting his his. his Kanye West, the Antichrist, yeah, Bohemian Grove. Was that was that's what. Kanye that's West, the Antichrist, Bohemian Grove. <laughs> 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 I'm co-signing that shit, Ryan. Yo, I'm, Kanye I'm West. with you, gang. Bohemian Grove, nigga, fuck that fight, nigga. No World's cap. on fire. I'm going to make sure I better get this fault. nigga, too. I, I'm with all this shit. Keep tweeting, nigga. <laughs> Keep tweeting, Bohemian Grove. Kanye is the devil, nigga. Lose. Yo. Fuck you mean? I'm betting against niggas so I can get my money. Keep tweeting. Don't touch no gloves. Don't hit the gym. Nothing, nigga. Just keep talking about Pete Davis this, in the camp. This camera. is crazy right here. He said... He's still on the rampage. He says, let's, let's be real, right? 
Drake fucked your girl Kim, moved to the house next to you. Then she dates Pete Davidson, and then you get to get a look alike at Kim, like for Bianca, pretty much. And then you have the nerve to say that you the new Jesus. Laughing my fucking ass off. You are a bum. Facts. Ryan Garcia, he has way more money than you. I that makes you a bum. Bro. Kanye West has way more money than you. <laughs> How's he a bum? He has way more money than you. You out here doing influencer airboxing with Bobby Alta. No. Kanye, what, Kanye <laughs> what the, the fuck butthole are you talking about? word shipper. So apparently Kanye is a butthole word shipper. You're air you're airboxing with Bobby Althoff in a hotel room, chasing her around the room. I'm embarrassed for you. And you talking about Kanye West is a bum. He's, I'm he embarrassed for, for him. He for sure did a sneak grab of her butt cheeks. You just chased a grown woman in a circle around the hotel room. <laughs> and, and he's supposed to be looking like a serious fighter, like when Mike Tyson do that. And get the fuck out of here. Maybe an 85 or something. I don't even think like, you can What is get... up with this nigga, bro? Chased a grown woman around the room. <laughs> Chased a grown ass woman around the hotel like, room, okay? <laughs> and you talking about Kanye's a bum? Man, bro, I, I'm I'm done with you. I'm done with you, gang. I was low key with you for a second with Bohemian Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was you with you, about nigga. To Google Bohemian Grove. Man, like, man. what the fuck Just is that? It's a like, secret society and shit. Oh, like, he's man. over here trying to reveal conspiracies yeah, and shit. He's like, nuts. He's over here like Kanye is gay. That's okay. You do you. Diddy's companion. That's okay. Kanye, the butt on worshipper, says. Sad news, but he likes it. No judgment. So is this he his way to his try to fans. get 50 to walk yeah. out with him? He going to lose his gay fans with this shit. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. You and know 50, you can't play with that shit. did 50 say yes or no? Who? Because he said he wanted 50 to walk out with him. He want to uh, walk out to many men. Who, Ryan? 50 <laughs> not going with that nigga. 50 Cent is not That's what he said. That's what the first thing said. It said basically he cent? asked 50 if he would walk out with him. He's not going. And then he went on this rant. He's not going. So maybe he's really mad at 50. That's what I'm saying. I was like, but is he, he mad at Missy? He dropped this certain interview because there's a lot of this hot man shit. <laughs> Y'all gonna discover some shit. It's like, why the lie, fuck bro. would 50 says walk out with you, bro? Yeah, like, even if he don't like Devin Haney or something, why the fuck would 50 Cent walk out with Ryan Garcia? <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. Nigga out here. No offense. Yeah, no, like, get the fuck out of here. You're a bum. <laughs> Nigga, you're a bum. What are you talking about? Nigga, compared to Kanye West, you're a bum. And I'm not even saying that he couldn't have got it. It's just like with all this, bro, people aren't going to want to attach their name to that. You know what I'm saying? We all know that, bro. When certain antics are happening like that, nobody want to fuck with that shit. Mm. Well, we speaking got, of dumbass certain yeah, antics, this nigga PGF Nook is accused of carjacking two people at gunpoint in a 30-minute span. <laughs> two different cars, bro, in a 30-minute span. This nigga's out here playing GTA. I think that's Grand Theft Auto, huh? <laughs> Virgil Gibson, 22, is facing two felony counts of aggravated ve vehicular hijacking with a firearm. You got to really know your shit, or you'll just be stumbling on these words. Because what are you talking about? Aggravated vehicular hijacking with a firearm, along with one felony count each of aggravated unlawful restraint and armed aggravated kidnapping. You just did everything aggravated, nigga. You cooked. No cap. Gibson allegedly participated in the carjacking of a vehicle with a 32-year-old man at gunpoint on a 59-hundred mm. block of, of South Morgan Street. All right, he robbed the nigga. At least he didn't rob an old lady. Uh, furthermore, Gibson is implicated in aggravated carjacking, aggravated kidnapping involving a 35-year-old man. Members of the vehicular hijacking task force apprehended Gibson on Tuesday. Uh, subsequently charged him. His detention hey, here gun, is scheduled for Wednesday. Up. No cap. Spot, well, nigga, we can line it up. Okay. So this <laughs> nigga nut is out here playing GTA, bouncing out on niggas, taking their cars, bouncing out on other niggas, taking their cars, and leaving that car. <laughs> what the fuck you think this is? Waist deep, nigga? You, th you think you in the movie game? That's a mix of a couple movies. Hey, that's how you know that like <laughs> niggas, niggas bag is nigga. getting low. Niggas bag hey. getting low. Cause you out here bugging. Yeah, you can't be a celebrity Whoa. doing shit like uh, this. Yeah. What up? This nigga, this, he, play, he playing Grand Theft Auto, bro. Two carjackings in 30 minutes? Niggas got to learn how to scam. Broke. Two, he's broke. He went broke, cuz, cuz, trying to figure it out. Cuz went from having that little chick signing for a couple hundred thousand and then going broke, eh? Yep. He don't got no scammer homies. That's he what's down up. His ass. Nah, he down his ass. They don't want to put him on. Cause that's crazy. He probably <laughs> that's insane. I ain't never seen nothing look homie shy like... Dirt, Damn, not a thirsty dirt, block. 60, in the 63rd niggas, even the niggas that ain't rapping, they got motion. Like, niggas be having bigger like chains than the rappers. And like, this is what I'm saying. Somebody's supposed to be like, all right, nigga, you the connection to the industry. I'm the bag. 
Dump trip. We're going to run this shit back up. Just, you feel me, maneuver me through some shit. Like, Damn. nigga, you going to figure it out. You don't uh-huh. got nobody around you to, oh, you feel me, middleman, you do something. Nobody? Yeah. Come on, bro. Crazy. You out here going out bad, nigga. And nigga kidnapping. Burn bridges, though. Look, look at how cuz, look when he, he came out. He, he dropped 12 days though. ago oh, and only, he dropped 12 <laughs> days ago and only did 79K. And he used to do 5 million, 8 million, and 4 million. 98 million. That's crazy. He went from 98 million. Bro. He went from 98 million to 79K in 12 days. Fuck. Damn. Fuck. Like, nigga, I never had a high like that. He had 98 million, you said? Fuck. 98 million on a song. And then he went to jail for how long? No. Nah, he didn't. He just fell off. He didn't go nowhere. He caught a couple cases, but he didn't, like, sit down. My whole thing is this. This My whole thing is this. Let's be real. Cuz only put one verse on what up. He didn't even have a second hot verse for that. Yeah. And Polo it G was wasn't on two that verses. Polo G was the Bro. second verse. He had one. Bro. Then, you got to think them short songs, you got to keep running it back because it ain't no second verse. Bro, 98 million to 72K is fucking crazy, nigga. That's a, that fall off got to be studied. You need help, <laughs> nigga. But that's how you know. Look. Treat yeah. niggas on your way up how you want to be treated on your way down. Uh, I right. guarantee you, if he was showing love on his way up and wasn't showing it on the way down, of course niggas not going to want to fuck with you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He could have burnt all his bridges already, bro. Ain't nobody trying to probably fuck with him. We don't really know the situation, but yeah, nigga, to go they for been here two minutes trying to murder like, yeah. me already. 98 million? Because this is like the last resort, right? I'm going through it. I got to Hijacking a up. car? That's like the last <laughs> resort you, you resort to when shit is really bad. Like, that's the last resort. You don't have nothing to do? You could have literally went into a store, Best Buy, stole some shit. I don't know, like... You ain't scamming a (laughs) fan? That's like, oh, did he already this scam is like, the fan? I'm on crack cocaine. He already he scammed, scammed the fan one for 200, 300. He already money. scammed the fan, so he can't even go back and try it again. <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm saying. For 200, and you scammed the fan for, for a phone bill. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you? You scammed the fan for your Metro PCS bill, nigga? Hey, Crip Street 2 said, Brick, we can line it up like both of us barbers. We can shoot the fame, but why bother? I be with you in it. I be I instead of with the skit thing. That's nuts, bro. <laughs> Niggas out here losing their mind, gang. I ain't gonna lie. That's giving drugs. Something. It's giving drugs. Something. Like, I didn't blew my bag on that shit. And yeah, because it's not giving up. child support, right? Bro, you don't know no rappers. <laughs> you don't know nobody couch you could slip on for a minute, man. Where is Soulja Boy when you need him? Listen, gang. Where's Big Soulja he's when on, you need him? He's on Melrose. No where is he from? No what hood is he from? Because they must not, like, nigga, you ain't made it to Dirt know. Couch with everybody else. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, nigga, where's Rich the Kid when you need him? Some niggas no. don't want to ask nobody for sleep help. Sleep on Rich the Kid couch, Soulja Boy couch. Rich the Kid couch, got that shit from, it, from his life. Rich the Kid used to sleep on our couch. You feel me? Like, bro, you got to find some rich nigga couch to sleep on. Rich the Kid going to let nobody sleep on his couch. He on, on, he on the road too much. Me about you. Dude, don't even want with you. Oh, Richard Kidd. So you want to show spit out, cuz. Whoop his ass. Out that nigga. <laughs> hey, the nigga PTF <laughs> is from yeah, OTN 59th. Yeah, You're going to hawk a loogie in Richard Kidd's He's from OTN 59th. I'm not familiar with it. Uh, PGF. That's what I'm saying. His hood ain't cracking to where they got the... He was the nigga who was cracking. Yeah. But yeah, nah, Rich the Kid looking for me is crazy. That's wild. <laughs> he was He's hiding from looking. Uzi on, on Instagram. Yeah, what are you talking so. about? We watched you Rich, not you want to fight Rich, you my little nigga. He just put you in a bad position. Nigga, if you was looking for me for a fade, I think I wouldn't beat you up. I'd spit on you. This is crazy. You got to slap that nigga like I did, old boy. <laughs> no cap. You just got to do <laughs> That's what I believe in doing. If I feel like a nigga not gonna give me no fade and he talking crazy, I'm not no bully, so I ain't just gonna hurt I'm you. I'm gonna hit him with I'm that slap stiff left hit over hand right. You know what's going on. I'm gonna fake the left. Huh. You feel me? It come with the. Huh. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. The, hey, I'm, that's Ooh. why I say money. It really be fucking niggas, these niggas up. Money don't change. That should just allow you to be who you always want to be. These niggas always been bitch ass niggas, but couldn't be because they didn't have no money and they needed right. other niggas. Once niggas feel like they don't need nobody no more, they that real like didn't come out. That real mm-hmm. didn't come out. Like, oh, like I don't need you no more. I don't need. I, I can do what I want. All right, that's now I'm crazy. Gonna, so you ain't help me do nothing. What I got do, this bro. on my own. I'm the complete opposite. When I know I don't need niggas, I go back, reach out, help niggas, and they still do bullshit. Cause that, now, now when niggas say that I ain't doing that, and I ain't 
fucking with it. Yeah, no, I'm not. Hey, no, that, I'm not. Because I done did, I done did so much for my young niggas and all that. Cause nigga, I would, I'd probably did more than their parents than did for them, nigga. So for a nigga to turn around and go against this, cause on the dead homies, you got nothing but bad karma coming your way. Nigga, life go deal with niggas. A nigga don't even gotta pull up on them niggas. Life is life in the fuck out of them niggas right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's life is life the fuck out of that nigga. No child. Hey, you know what that nigga CJ Casino said? Every time I put a poor ass nigga on payroll, he still. No cap, you feel me? Every time you try to help one of these broke ass niggas, they end up stealing or doing some bullshit. Fuck it, do it again. You feel me? No cap. All right. A photo. I put it out. A Mark, photo of what appears Jim Marcus. to be. Uh, me and him already, hey. We, <laughs> <laughs> we already above heads for the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> sharp. What the fuck y'all think I always walk out the room? At least once. <laughs> Do you have a Finsta? Do I have a Finsta? I have one, but shit, them bitches, that shit. Who's yeah. gonna do what? You got nah, a Finsta? I had a Finsta. No, about the Finsta what? A no, Finsta. like a Finsta. <laughs> do you have one? You ever had one? No. I no? got, I, I, I got, about, I, I got one. one, but I changed it to my my apparel page. Yeah. I was like, fuck it. Like, bitch, I slide in your DM. You could take it. Like, me, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, like bitch, having it's like me a secret talking. Instagram, like yeah. where no one yeah, else can see. Yeah, I never cared to have yeah. one. That's why I was. Yeah. I'm sure you yeah. got it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it sounds like a fucking card, isn't it? Like a little smart card. Shark, you <laughs> said it was going to get worse. A motherfucker called and got my card towed from where I was at. Hell no. I fucking told you. I should have just came to y'all. I fucking told you, bro. <laughs> Man, you need to listen to me, nigga. I, I didn't even want to tell you. I'm like, fuck, I should have oh, just went to cuz. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to get on your ass tonight on no stage. Yeah, cuz, I, I got you. That one, hell no. You yeah. got a Finsta? Hmm? You got a Finsta right. account? Make you say Finsta do what? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> a fake Instagram, your booth. Your oh, booth nah. joint. Hell nah. You feel like it's a fake Instagram? It's more like an Instagram where it's like you could be, like, say, for instance, you're a celebrity and then you have like. You know what I'm mean, saying? You're doing two. a little dirt on there. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has their little secret accounts. You, But it's not secret. Because I'm like, what's a fence to? You talking about like a spam account? No, like most people I know who have a fence to, like they do a bunch of freaky shit on there, really. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck Finsta is. is. That like an actual yeah, it's like, like a, say. Is that like an actual? Yeah, it's website? like an Instagram. And it's like no, it's only just a, people, it's a yeah. fake Instagram account. Yeah. and like mm. I thought to let like they were oh, who was the dude who had it? Yeah, I'm not familiar. Literally, all these niggas got Finsta accounts. Like, oh yeah, Kevin Durant was big on Finsta. Oh, where yeah. like he didn't, oh, yeah. he, he didn't want to like publicly say X, Y, and Z, but he had a bunch of accounts where. He would go after com, uh, reporters in the comments and stuff, mm. uh, criticizing their takes on him. Mm. And like, That's I know like college coaches have <laughs> also been gay. accused Bitch of doing that too. Do it from your page. Exactly, but there, it's a way for them to try to like push narratives and shit like that. Like, that's what I thought of Finsta was. I didn't realize that celebrities. No, had it's it, all the girls just, like, who's getting flued out. Like, and then they have their separate accounts. They be like baby mamas and everything. They don't want their baby daddy seeing the shit. They don't want stuff. So they'll have like something like, I've seen the one girl who said like depressed housewife or something like that. She a rapper's baby mama. She, you know what I'm saying? She fucking with the rappers on the scene, but she's fucking with them undercover, like in the Finsta. You know what I mean? That's wild. Yeah, no, I'm not familiar with the Finsta life. That's crazy. Oh, the thing was Twitter, not Instagram, but still the same content. Same shit. No, it's it was Twitter, but it was no, Twitter, it's definitely yeah. Instagram. Same shit. Uh, so that so what the fuck was that about? What happened? City girl fence the page. Or so a photo of what appears to be the pair hugged up on a balcony. Wait, is there I more? Oh, okay, yeah, a photo of what appears to be a pair hugged up on a balcony with the caption "Bobby and Whitney" is making its rounds and is pride. Purported, that's a crazy name word. Facts. Purported to be to be from the City Girl rapper's Finsta page. Upon the screenshot going viral on Tuesday, the account has been reportedly since erased from Instagram because that's what happens when people find your Finsta. You have to delete it. You know she could have just put reported. <laughs> she been doing this shit to us on purpose, bro. You, you know damn well you could have turned reported. V. That was wild. I like new words. Hey, that's how you know money. Or do anything a bitch let boy you Damn, could be you could be the fuck. devil in the flesh I need a shelf like that if a bitch if a nigga got some money 
Man, bitch gonna do whatever. It don't matter. This what the background of that look like to y'all? Like, where is that at? This shit don't look... That don't oh, look okay. rich enough for, for uh that nigga. Kind of looks like the Four Seasons a little bit, but... Man, that look like some shit I'll be having on the regular. Like, Diddy, you Diddy. And this young Miami, y'all in some regular shit, it look like. They on a That's a regularized balcony. Said, yeah, nigga. Is it not, Sharp? Crazy. That's a regularized balcony. Yeah. Balcony regular as fuck. Where y'all at? Cause you can't get you feel me? That's, a, that's what I'm trying to get to. Like y'all not doing no extravagant shit. Like y'all live somewhere hella. But somebody had to take that picture. They hiding out. They are hiding out. That is a broke ass balcony compared to Diddy and Yagi and, and, and Young Miami money. Yeah. Man, it's so well, simple. How you know that ain't a boutique hotel. They hide. They hide. They in Florida. Look at the like. view. They that shit boof. This Diddy. They are hiding. That's what he doing. You was just a fly. Oh, you, you want to see some ocean oh, when you who, look out the balcony and see Miami. Who's that? Young, young Miami. Yeah, Young yeah, yeah. Miami's fist. Uh, they hiding she, together. She, she took it down. They say she took it down though. Uh, 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 Bobby and Whitney is wild. If, if, Bobby and if anybody Whitney. knows how to hack accounts, I need to get back That's into my finsta. I missed Bobby it. Bobby and Whitney. That shit was Bobby lit. Bobby and Whitney. That's a hell of a hell like, of a what? comparison right now. That mean they hired so the kite. took this photo? They yeah, hired the kite right there. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> that money, bitch, you do whatever. I'm telling you, that shit out here wild, nigga. So a multi, where we at, man? Go. Yeah, who cares? Who is that? A multi-agency gang investigation ended with 20 alleged criminal street gang CSG members in a. Um, and associates arrested on multiple charges in Dale Cap County. The case stems back to March of this year when the Cedar Park Police Department in Texas began an aggravated robbery investigation. According to the police, the victim had said that he was attending an event in Austin where several men opposed him and was about buying some exotic flowers. <laughs> Quotation mark. Uh, the victim said he agreed to take them in the men, uh, to his place of work, which was a vaporizer store, so a smoke shop. When they got there, the men allegedly pulled out guns and robbed them, took his phone, he's a dumbass, took his phone, money from the safe register, along with numerous vape products from the store. You a fucking idiot. Why wouldn't you just go to the vape place yourself, get your shit with your product, and then come back? Why the fuck would you, you take these niggas to your shit? You idiot. Uh, so on April 5th, agents served search warrants and arrest warrants in Brookhaven to let them... And, and Lithonia, uh, the Dale Cab County Police Department Boy. said that the house of Lithonia led to uh, uh, led to a seizure of multiple drugs and guns. There were 20 firearms record, uh, uh, recovered, with eight being classified as machine guns and six illegal mechanical switches. Dumbass niggas. A in addition, Damn, law enforcement found 60 lot. pounds of mushrooms. Oh shit, they going up. 70 grams, 70 grams of mushroom gummies. Mushroom gummies to get you right. 212 grams of marijuana gummies. Ooh. Oh y'all going nuts? It's just gummy galore over there, nigga. Three Did pounds it? of marijuana, two bottles of that juice, nigga, eight Xanax pills, and, and one perk. First off, <laughs> it sound like <laughs> and one perk, because somebody done downed them shits before they came. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Hey, they, hey, hey, they flushed the perks. They yeah. didn't get to get Or they, they took them. Nigga found one oxy. No, they did, they did good. One they did good, because it sound like they don't crazy. got much. First of all, in the inner city of Atlanta, like, we just oh god damn but it's georgia you can have guns you can god pull up to the gas damn. station and buy a gun but if you're a felon you can't really have a gun but i don't think it's as bad as having a gun in cali now you right in the south all white people you can have all have this have shit you can have as many now, as let's you look want at that shit though nigga the gummies and all the mushrooms where's the gummies at, bro? and how yeah. illegal is the mushrooms oh them niggas had green them niggas had two pints of green i know a green pint when i see one 20 suspected gang members. <laughs> I know a green pint when I see one. These are photos. I'm telling you. Ooh, the lingerie. Like, what? What are you saying? Dude, but look at this photo that It's a beautiful picture. Like, damn, look at them. I love guns. They be having fun with this shit. That's the beauty of living in Georgia, though. You can have all that shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's crazy. Is that drums On the pool everywhere. table. Everywhere. I don't know. Are you allowed to have drums though? I don't think so. Seems like you are, just the amount they have. The if they put switches yeah, on the gun, though, that's pretty good. Why the pool right. table and the balls? And... These niggas funny. Like they. Hey. No. Look what. No. Hold on. Hold on. Look what the balls say. 12. Oh, yeah. 1, 2, 12. You're 
Uh, yeah, wow. They being funny. They being they funny. Being they funny. 12, you're so funny. They let right. me know, like, 12 got your ass. <laughs> <laughs> they being funny. I, I didn't notice that. I did. Get these right, men's big guns back. I like to do escape <laughs> rooms and shit, so, you know, when they be having shit like this up. I wonder you know, if, like, one person who's out. not illegal claims all the guns. Like, is the gun charges dropped? Like, uh, hey, these are all my guns. I'm legal. I'm not a felon. These are all my guns. If they're not reported stolen. You know, most people, when they sell a gun, they report it stolen. True. And that's how they get it off probably. their name, you know? So, Hopefully none of those guns have bodies on them. I'm sure somebody do. I mean, you see how many there are. It's too many guns to right. so not it's be. too right. many for at least not one to have something on them, you know? I'll be spooked, boy. Boy. And, then, and this all come from and a And then their cell phones. Like, Bro, all this come from a <laughs> nigga. Drums is crazy. Like, this is what they're... What they're and were they all together in one place? Like, they got what, one, two, three, four. I see four drums on the table. All this comes no, from five, a nigga trying to buy me, vapes. One up there. Really? All this came from a nigga four trying to buy vapes. Up here. Nigga tried to buy vapes, got his shit hit. The niggas robbed his vape store, and then they found the niggas, and this is what they found at their shit. They heard That's that. what I got from that, no? What I got from the No, I'm talking about the guns, though. Like, this is oh, what they yeah, found yeah, when yeah, they, yeah. you feel me, when they went to their crib. So whoever... Yeah. That's dumb. Dumbass. He just fucked up everyone. Facts. The whole gunplay for some fucking drugs. You fucked everything up. Six drums. Shit, there was a double right there. For a perk. And two... <laughs> nigga, bro, they wasn't even doing people. it up like that. They, look, to be honest, the nigga, they had more guns than they had drugs, and that was the point. We don't got no drugs. We only got guns. It's time to do something. <laughs> but you just County. fucked up the whole gun trade, nigga, trying to get some drugs, and only got a perk and eight Xanax pills. Wow. The one perk threw me off. Bro, that <laughs> shit? <laughs> Facts. Fact. Right. Nigga, swallow it. Oh, so this happened in Texas. I would pop that bitch. Okay. Expeditiously. Oh, wow. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going down forever. Fuck you mean? Forever. Nigga, all this shit, you know what? <laughs> Last perk. <laughs> Fuck you, man, nigga. Nigga, you're finna go and down. Nigga, y'all are going down. All of these guns, you all said, these guns. Bruh, I'm going what? down forever. I'm going, you feel I'm going down forever, nigga. Let me specify years. I'm going, going down forever, forever, nigga. Let me at least just be high for the next four hours, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, mean, because this is going to be a long ride. Oh, every Fuck day. you, mean, nigga, boy. I would have tried to get so many drugs in that bitch as I could. You crazy, nigga. I would have I been in that bitch high. No mm -hmm. cap, nigga. I ain't never popped more than two perks at a time. That would have been the day. Nigga, that would have been the fucking day. <laughs> Each? Come on, nigga. Breaking in half? Yeah. What the fuck are y'all doing? For real, y'all didn't have time. Dumbass. And I imagine have... those houses usually have like and bars on the windows, they no? They in Texas, correct? And, the and then, went, to, then bar. went back to Georgia, right? DeKalb is where? Georgia? Yeah. Calb County? Yeah, yeah so they did it in Texas they and then it. they went back I'm, to I'm, Georgia. I'm not mistaken. If we, that's what we were reading. Yeah. Because they had detectives already on it uh, doing like an aggravated they burglary. They linked the Texas yeah. crime to Atlanta niggas. To the, yeah. Atlanta the Texas niggas. niggas wasn't playing that. They came to Georgia that's and Texas, said, y'all going you down. You can't do no crime in Texas, bro. Playing with them, them don't rangers. Don't do a crime them in rangers Texas. And no, for real. And Texas shit. is definitely, they I think they're play. like the strictest crime in America, right? Them in Florida, they don't play They'll kill you. Texas, the South, and man, they don't play, bro. They still got these old ass laws. They have a death penalty, yeah? And them niggas are, are How many states slave, are still currently catchers, actively nigga? using the death penalty? Why did, did it say that me? Cali, like, because I know some people who are on death row, like, from seeing it on TV, but it's just like, they're not actually going to kill them in California. So there's still 27 out of, yeah, out of 50 states still using the death penalty. Most of the time, day. though, you just don't sit death on death row for about like, 30 to 40 like, years, though. Like, they don't kill you immediately. Yeah, You'll sit on death row your whole life. I saw some other shit, like a 70-something-year-old man going to death. appealing, 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 like... And then eventually, sometimes some appeals will run out, and you really got a day. Oh, I don't see Kelly on there. No. But they have a death states. row, but it's inactive. And then it shows their last executions. Mm -hmm. 1911, Colorado, Jesus. last execution was 2020, nigga. What does it say, Atlanta? Ooh, we. <laughs> Georgia. 2020? Does Georgia have death penalty? Nigga, Virginia just executed a nigga 2021, nigga. Yeah. That's the last one. Georgia and uh, go back up. Georgia and Colorado were the last people to execute niggas. Georgia, of course. That's crazy. Or Mississippi. Ain't that some they shit. They seem like yeah. a racist 2020 place. 2020 and 2021 was the last executions in the United States, allegedly. That's wild. I guarantee you there's been way more that they just don't document. So much happens in these prisons that they don't know. Because a lot of these prisons are private owned. So it's like, nigga, that, that just kill that you shit yourself? Get, man, these, a lot of these prisons are private owned. So it's like, shit be getting tricky in there, bro. You know? 
But hey, I don't know. It's nice to see that they're not doing too much. Because a lot it's of these crazy. dudes be getting vindicated. That's crazy. Hmm. Electric yeah. chair. That's not no sure. lethal injection, nigga. No. Maybe that's uh, it, uh electrocution electric though. Electric chair probably started in 47 to 50 right there. Like 1950 is when they start putting some electric through they shit. Yeah. And yeah, facts. You because they crazy. said that shit was inhumane. It's you know they're bringing it back. Cuz they it's crazy cuz they tell you, you know, don't kill people, it's a sin, but then Right, and then they kill you when oh, you go to jail. Are you Am I that? tripping on that like or what, bro? Like <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Don't kill people, but if you kill people, we're going to kill you. Yeah, we're going to kill you. For sure. Whatever. Imagine having that job. Like, I think serial killers would probably enjoy that job, you know? Instead of, like, just killing them. They, they are serial killers. Yeah. Kind of like Dexter shit. You You're a like, serial. you know what? I'm going to just go ahead yeah. and kill people. I love Dexter. You way. a serial Dexter's killer, crazy. though. Like, if mm -hmm. you kill people by lethal injection every day, I don't give a fuck. By definition, you're a serial killer. Yeah, like, imagine having that job, bro. That's like, what the fuck? What, who do you have to be? Right. You just got to be a doctor. Oh my god. A professional practicer. That's what I call them. I call doctors professional. Do you practicer. have to be a doctor to do that? I can go to school for 10 years to practice on y'all, nigga. Like, yeah, I went to school to kill people in prison. Basically. I do I do the lethal injections. That's actually like a It's like wild what's the life. how much money do you make a year for doing that, I wonder. But also like look at this shit. After eight failed attempts, nigga. And that's wild. Y'all are failing to kill people, fucking them up. I mean, there's definitely like more humane, easier, so she more up dying. ways to kill a person. So she didn't end up dying. Some pills or something, right? Yeah, I get that man like twenty Xanax. I think they're back in jail. Something, bro. But I mean, there are other ways that you can execute somebody. Mm -hmm. What would be the most inhumane? Damn, what's a human? I don't know. I Public? think like uh, I think I back think, in the day during medieval times, that's when they were what's really the most oh my god. Inhumane? Well, no, there's definitely more disemboweling like, that you could like <laughs> legally pass. Like, uh, like at some point they used like a guillotine. That was, I like, think that lining out. niggas up on the wall shooting and shooting lines, them is medieval. No, the dis the disemboweling. I mean that's definitely. And inhumane. then you watch your organs outside of your body while you're alive. That's yeah. wild. Like uh, waterboarding to death. Nigga, back in the day when they used to put niggas in the iron bull, in the bronze bull. You know what I'm talking about? The bronze bull. Oh, yeah, yeah, Where they yeah, open yeah. the bull. It, and you ain't never seen the bronze no. bull? So it's a bull where, like, it's literally like a whole bull. And you can open it. It's made of metal. And yeah. it's bronze. If you do some shit like you steal or something, they'll put you in that motherfucker lighter fire in it. And bronze is not a good oh. uh, conductor of heat. So it slowly cook you. And then, like, they made some shit in the nostrils of the bull that your screams come out as a bull breathing. What? The front of that Who shit. does that? That was, Greek. like, some back-in-the-day shit? shit. Yeah. The Greek oh, that's crazy. Put you in this bull, heat it under, and cook you. And then your screams come out as, like, a uh, nigga moves and shit from the bull. Yeah. No, that it shit crazy is fucking some crazy. Yeah. I seen that shit. I've like, like, seen, like, yeah, the crushing. Yeah, like, when I seen they put that, that shit, nigga. Shit, they'll like, put a boulder oh, on your chest. This is crazy. No. A boulder on your chest, mm. and then they'll like keep on adding more and more weight to it until like you start to crush like your, your or the organs. one drop of water on your forehead that eventually will crush you. Yeah, that's wild. Nigga, you ever seen one where they put the uh, the rat on your stomach in the bowl? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I've yeah. seen a lot of these. It'll from, like, dig movies into your shit. body, yeah. 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 yeah, no way. You yeah. eat yeah. it, you eat rats that eat anything. Wasn't that like a Batman in Batman? And I was in he Fast and Furious too. For real, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're strong enough to bucket dig up. into yeah, your he body. Yeah, so they're yeah. gonna look to escape, so they want to yeah, burrow. So they're gonna. Oh so my gonna god! Happen, never gonna your skin it. opens. You ain't never. If you hit this motherfucker <laughs> on, on the wall, your skin no, gonna right. open. <laughs> Fuck you, mean? You think a mouse can't bite through that shit? I guess you're right. They got them too. Like, come on teeth. now. <laughs> if I hit my fucking finger on the door, my shit gonna be open. A, a, a rat will tear right through your shit. No cap. Like, Damn. Man, I go like, it's definitely some inhumane Which one you choosing? You only have... Man, and drowning <laughs> is the worst, too. Drowning oh, and yeah. getting burnt. Burnt and drowning. Some, uh, some crazy shit back in the day online. Like, was, I don't know if you ever heard of a Josh called Faces of Death. Remember yeah, that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of that one hey, going over there. That shit right there was gruesome. They used to show, like, people getting killed in fucked so, up ways. Yo, Sharp, probably, like, four years ago, um, mm -hmm. there's a couple of sites that... Obviously, get taken down quickly, mm. um, but similar to Faces of Death. Mm. And Adam was watching it in the office with a couple people. I 
could not do it. For my generation, like it's the, the um, like, it's the cartel murders. Yeah, well, that's what it was. It was a combination of like, yeah. the cartel seeing murders. Seeing niggas getting their shit yeah, chopped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The get cartel shot. murders, yeah. I definitely yeah. seen that. Oh, yeah. TikTok. I, I used to watch those. Yeah. Shot in the head, yeah. shot in the mouth. Nah. No. Yeah, I used to see still had shit like that, though, for real. Every time I click on it, yo, did you see the dude? He jumped off a balcony and landed on a pole, and it went in his ass through his whole body. No, I didn't see that. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. Wow, and man. he had pants on too, so it like it just went through. I don't think the pants was gonna say. <laughs> no, no. no it's that like how out. did you like, end up in a sitting position, like, it's fucking... like landing on a pole with your ass, and it just shows him like. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's wild. It's wild, right craziest there. shit and I've ever seen. Yeah, it's just show some many shit. Like you know, they do like the, the drill lines where motherfuckers they line a motherfucker up against wall or mm -hmm. put him up they against the wall. That's man, that World like, War II shit. shit yeah, like 10, I see 15 that. AKs on your dog ass, man. Light your ass the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, that is not the way to die. Because niggas nah. survive gunshots a lot. So, yeah. you feel me? That's a wild one. I ain't gonna lie. That's I'll a probably serious just, gun, nigga, though. I'd probably K's, go with the beheaded. 10 Ks? I'd probably shoot. go with beheaded. <laughs> if y'all make sure it's clean, I'd probably go with beheaded. Because that's quick, yeah? Yeah, I feel like that just snap your spinal cord and it's just like, nigga, you, you out of there. You might be able to blink a couple times, but you out of there. Yeah. You feel me? Once your head detached, what you gonna feel? Is detached. Nigga. Imagine like, like a fucking you shark coming to like, you might get a couple blinks and rip your body apart. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, it's great. You might get a couple blinks, nigga, but you out of there, bro. No cap, nigga. Straight the fuck up. Damn, Sweet that's recently. Super chats real quick. Uh, uh, these are nah. I got you, I got you. So we got, I don't know we already read that one. Lot. Let's go down right here. Uh, what's this, Minas? We're gonna read that one. I mean, we can't. So, I don't give a fuck. We can, you know what I'm saying? Read it to it. It says, uh, The Call Dago Mistake features Bay Area beats from artists <laughs> like Mike Jack, 3200, Young Slow. That's my boy. And Briss and K.E. Barry is the best area. K.E. Shout and, out to uh, the Bay. No, 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 Cap. K.E. And then who's the other name? That's it. K.E. and who? Go back up real quick. Go back up. Go back up real quick. No, oh, yeah. K.E. and my nigga Mike Jack. I fuck with both of them. Yeah, I like okay. Briss too. The cool niggas. Crazy. Facts. Uh, Lacewell says, "Sus single-handedly ruined the resale market for the Jordan Six pollen with the kelp with that kelpie interview. <laughs> My guy snaps on squares perfectly. Hey, let's go, <laughs> let's go, now. Nice. Kills. Cool. How the fuck? Good looking, no cap, because I whipped the nigga in, in them shoes. That's oh, right. Oh. <laughs> got diamonds. I want to say diamond and gold. Says, shout out to no jumper. Don't hire no more no jumper spies. Get NDA signed and sharp and brick. Keep the three falls where they need to stay in. Keep lacing them at them. Keep lacing and keep lacing at them. That's right. right. Yeah, that's right. What aerial code so is that? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, let's get back to the news. It's not. Oh. <laughs> 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 like what? <laughs> Uh, what we got right here. <laughs> Fucking, uh, recently, Meg and Glow made a song together called Wannabe. The, this new track can be found on Glorilla's new mixtape, and it is a song that is already has went viral, has a viral challenge behind it. You the Wannabe Challenge is, is all about twerking, <laughs> and Meg was the one who was able to get it started with some wild videos over the weekend. Let's see, Let's see if she didn't drop. I also saw some. Bitches oh, are so thirsty, thirsty for attention. Play. All make do is show ass. Bitches are so thirsty for attention. Tell him, he don't want to be kept on keep. He don't want the paper, then beach don't keep. It's gonna be this like. This is the challenge. Just. Bro, of course. Is this a Soulja Boy that. beat? Besties, you can get your wig turned like Effie. I don't need insurance because a bitch can't break me. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty too boy easy. swag beat. That's a pretty boy swag beat. Her shit move like water. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Her arms look strong as fuck. Like she gonna put you in a chokehold and you done. Nah. Kill squad, kill squad. Kill what it do, squad. man? What it do, my nigga, squad. man? How you yeah. feeling? Man, what's what's good? good? I'm good. How are you? And that's Lana right there too, right? Mm-hmm. Squad in the field. Lotto's sexy. I ain't gonna lie, but the way I tore up the city of PI was great. I'm gonna hold you. These it better be great as her son. That look a little weird. Stop rapping. Go to a club or something, bitch. They probably e -E -E it should be like how how you how you sleep knowing you sent the nigga to jail for ten years. She's twerking. I mean, hey. I mean, you can't hold that against her. She her twerking is one hundred and forty. 
Hold on. <laughs> how, so, how you feel? Is she trolling like, Glorilla because she don't got no ass to throw? Nah, Glow's on the phone. Where's Glow so at twerking ass? Phone, but She's I thought phone. Lotto and Glow don't get along. I don't know. Who is Glow getting into it with? She just was beefing with somebody. No, she just. I want to see Glow throw, oh, throw oh, that. JT, ass. JT, that's yeah. who it is. All right, all right. Yeah. Oh, it's not Glow on she this beef- song. No, no, JT and Glow is beefing. Oh yeah, 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 Fox. Yeah. I want to see Glow throw that ass. She, she thick, right? So shit. She thick, right? It's crazy. <laughs> no, and damn well, you just out here talking. Yo, this is crazy. You she always said she thick. Well. I mean, I haven't seen her lately like that. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? We're not gonna do that. So has it been confirmed <laughs> about Namir's chain? Yo, all right. We talked about we it. We talked about it. Dude, we pulled it up. It look a little different. It, it, it look like it's somebody over there chained though. So who? That's what I'm about to say. Wait, it, it's some white being nigga chained, but it definitely looks smaller. Niggas love to say it ain't they peace. Yeah. He look like he just woke up. Like damn. But then that shit do be. I, I mean, uh, Did we do? ooh, that thing look. Nah, he stole the homie chain for sure, right? We know. We know. Easy in the bitch, yeah, homie. That's the- <laughs> Take my easy to get one of these. Easy to get one of these, man. Easy to get one of these. You know that when you buy those, you buy like seven. Facts. That's what I'm when saying. You it could be somebody. Deal, you buy a couple of the bitches. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. It could be different angles, bro. That looked like the same one. Now that I'm looking again, you could have had two of them. Yeah, you feel me? It's looking like the same one, and, bro. And the nigga gave it to him. They didn't even snatch it. It ain't even. Oh, broke. you are. You know what's going on. No, I'm looking. It ain't snatched. Nah, that's nigga, a different chain. That's, no, that's, that's a different chain. You know when a nigga snatch your shit and go put his own rope Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I was doing. That was a different chain. Yeah, because that's a different chain. What the fuck do niggas be talking no, about, man? Chain. Like, what the fuck be going on? Talking, talking, talking about, talking about. Man, that's the same. Do niggas be talking? Do niggas be talking about? That's the same. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the same width. You feel like it's the same size? They're all the same, guy. Look at that. Yeah, that's the same. Now that we look back, I ain't gonna lie. Mm. Oh no. No, it looks smaller that's to me. The same, Jay, buddy. Yeah. That pendant looks smaller than the one YBN's. It's oh, that's definitely the same. That's the same nigga. Some of them are on the front camera. Some no, of them are the on the back nigga. camera. That's the you same chest. It's the same yeah. shit. Yeah. So we just have this beginning video. And, and that other yeah. one where he pulled out the new one. Is that the same chest? Like, is this the same? I think so. It's probably not. I know he probably has more than one though. Josh, when you that go, sure when you get same. your label that's shit, the they go get like six, seven sure. pendants for the. Maybe or he not. did and he put on another one. He might oh, have more than stuff. one of the he same. Somebody yeah. Somebody got their shit snatched too. For real. But you got to remember, there is no YBNs left. It's just him. The group oh, disbanded. So, so, no so someone yeah. had it from before me. The group yeah. disbanded. Unless, yeah, I don't know. So it's so many different ways. I think Unless I somebody know. that had one. That's what I'm saying. Too. Somebody that had one. It could have been somebody that had one. We go act like we. Because nobody is in YBN no more. But them and some Compton niggas. And all the other YBN niggas was from different states. Exactly. Where are you supposed to be from? But them Compton niggas Man, probably he, got up on the hey, other he nigga. From, he, he from Alabama. But if you ask him, he's from he Northside from Long Beach. Yeah. 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 He, oh, so he's a crip. He's from Northside Long Beach. Nigga, he's going to throw up the ends and all of that. Yeah. I seen him do it. I seen him do it. No cap. Hey, but I don't know. It's, I don't know, bro. You you never know, gang. Who knows, bro? Mm-hmm. Maybe we should ask them Compton niggas. Look. He say he gonna get what? He say he gonna get sold for, uh. If he a Crip and then go see the Crips LLC, he might get hit with a lawsuit. Is that the case? How you gonna get? How? 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 Yeah, it's Explain. Because what the fuck do that mean? He can't infringe on the trademark. He sold merch with Crip on it before. Oh, he did? Yeah. Namir? Yeah. I ain't seen it. I ain't never seen it. Yeah? Nah. Oh, uh, yeah. Hell no. Nah. I ain't never seen it. What we got well, next, though? He getting struck up. Hell no. Nah. I ain't seen that shit. Uh, uh, uh. Mm-mm. Hell no. Nah. Fuck we got going on this morning. He said, it say, what, Joe Budden is hearing Drake and Kendrick both has disc records ready. 
both sides went in the booth and came out. Well, I was saying yesterday that uh, he heard from Drake's camp that mm. Drake was going to drop the Messiah. Yeah, mm. yeah. this week. Oh, shit. I can't wait for it. That's crazy. Tell you this. You know? Get out the way. Whatever little rappy shit you thought was going right. on, it's not that. And something is coming. I think that J. Cole knows that from either Kendrick or Drake or both. And it was time to bow out because now we are no longer in the Rap first beef. round. Rap Rap beef. Beef. Yeah. We are, yeah. No, yeah. We are yeah. no longer in the first or second round of this thing. Kendrick mm -hmm. has earned himself a bye with Cole's apology. But I think that the insiders know, actually, I have it on good information. <laughs> I have it on good information that both sides went in the booth and came out. They ready. And what I'm hearing about both sides is that it's nuclear. Mm. So I'm going to tell you this. Get out the way. Mm. It's up, up. I'm hearing this from people that can rap. Curious. I heard this. Hmm. Oh, shit. I just, I don't feel like, like I've been saying, bro, Kendrick don't really have, like, no secrets and, like, no, like, uh, unless you about to, unless that nigga Drake dug up and found some random secrets, even though Kendrick just, like, put all his secrets out on his last album. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has to out-rap him. Y'all got to remember, and I said this last time, Drake won the Meek Mill beef not out of rapping better than him. He took better shots. He had the Nicki Minaj shit. He had so many personal shots to say about the Nick. It wasn't so much about rapping. You get what I'm saying? Drake and Pusha? Who won that one? Nigga Pusha. What do you mean? He, and, and, and it's because personal information. Yeah. Not necessarily because he out-rapped him. He upped his ante and said, nigga, you hiding shit. the kid. Yeah. You know? It's personal shit. So Kendrick doesn't have these personal shots that you can take at him. What? What Kendrick secrets, nigga? You have to outwrap him. You know what I'm saying? He don't really got them personal shit unless Drake knows some shit niggas don't know. You got to outwrap him. I don't see is him outwrapping. Is it just Drake him. against Kendrick though? Yeah, or J. Cole is it Drake apologized already. Against like Metro. J. Cole apologized already. Future, everyone. J. Cole just J. bowed out yeah, gracefully. J. Cole apologized already. He just bowed and out gracefully. Drake not going to really go at like you got to realize, right, that Drake is like a strategist. You feel me? He's not, I doubt he's going to go at them all at the same time. He'll probably go at each one by one if you go yeah. do that. Okay, one but by you got to realize, too, man, Drake, Future, let's be real. Future can't fuck with Drake rapping lines. Future can write great music and make great songs, but he's not out rapping Drake on no on no playing field. So I don't think he's more so worried about that. And people not really talking about them. They're more so talking about the Kendrick shit, you know? Right. Kendrick is the main target right now. That other nigga, uh, J. Cole just bowed out. For that one. Yeah, hey, not so much. He can't keep up with J. Cole, that. He's a... I don't feel like J. Cole just bowed out, though. Yeah, he did. He just did. Yeah, he I did. feel like I feel yeah, like J. Cole, I feel like it was a play. They all came together for this play. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't think so. I, I think that all of them was like, we all kind of at still water right now. You get what I'm saying? You ain't heard nothing from none of us recently. Drake, the only one that... I don't know if Drake was in on the play, but I feel like, come on, let's make me too. I feel like it's like, all right, let's just make it competition since he they see in the little battle rap, they see they watch YouTube too. They might have caught on to the big sad DW and all that. They might have caught on to the other people that's all doing the rap this and like, fuck it, we gonna turn it up, get everybody back lit. I feel like it was that. So that's why he didn't let it keep going like he hated Kendrick. I'm he dropped you, his song and said, my chin open. I'm sitting here with my chin out and I'm going to take the punch. You know what I'm saying? You and even if you fire back. That, right? I'm tell you why I disagree with that. Because this nigga J. Cole has been taking shots for the past three, two years. He's been taking shots. Every song, he's been taking shots. Okay, talking about, I'm but, the best. I'm the best this, and I don't think Kendrick, Kendrick not no clout ass nigga. I don't think you can bring Kendrick in on no play whatsoever. I disagree with that. Kendrick's Maybe. not gonna come in on no play. You just, I don't we, think so. Nobody knows Kendrick. I don't know him, but I'm just saying. I said I highly doubt that. Yeah. I don't think so, because that's a nigga who want to out-rap you. If he was going to do plays, he would be doing features with everybody like J. Cole. But all I'm saying is J. Cole been taking shots. He been taking shots at this nigga on every song, talking about I'm the best, I'm my peers, and mm -hmm. wooty 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 woop. And nigga, I felt like Kendrick was tired of this nigga taking shots. 
to not think that once he's seen that nigga, it wasn't really looking as good. The the reception wasn't that great. Nigga just said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to take it off on all DSPs. Man, get the fuck out of here. He took that. it off? The DSPs? He's, he's uh, taking it off, come back. bro. And that shit ain't no play. If it was a play, niggas would have kept yeah, all kept that shit. Yeah, kept it up. Yeah, yeah, all right. Niggas I didn't know he was snatching it. Off it. That, that puts no. another. But then it, it's still, Hell I don't know. No. I don't mm-hmm. know. It still can be a part of a joint. It can, it can be a part so. of a play. I think he backed right out. I don't got time for that like, shit. Eh, I didn't take my shot as hard as I can, and it didn't really look so good. You know what I like I'm saying? the song. I, don't, I, I think it was mid. I like it. He was being too nice. I like that flow. He was sucking dick while I he like was I like that flow that he came mm-hmm. with, though. His cadence was crazy. I didn't like it. Your first shit was classic. Your second shit was tragic. That's your not how he shit, rapped it. Your third shit put us to sleep. What are you talking that about? That ain't how he rapped it. Every J. Cole song put us to sleep. That what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, for sure. But what that ain't how he rapped it. It ain't about how he rapped. That's what he said. It's the cadence. You could have... You could have... You could have had the, Fuck the, you, the awesomest cadence <laughs> ever. You out here sucking Fuck dick you. while you trying to diss <laughs> You sucking dick. The first album was dissing you. Shut up. The second nigga. one, we kind of loved it. The yeah. third. It's your nice ass. Shut up. Nigga, that's All shit. of it was trash. Nigga, you, nice. you dissing him. He been nice. Nigga, number one, I don't know why y'all loop. expect number nice two is to go dope, crazy. Dope. Like, nice, number bro. three made nice you look like a bitch ass nigga. That's what he should have said. The nigga uh, rides his bicycle around New York. He don't want beef. He's, this something he's been too nice, bro. That nigga, he too that nice, nigga bro. Adam that. said he was. He just woke Kendrick to fire back and say, "You tried to bow out, nigga. He's a bitch." He said he, he just needs to bad, say he's so that he's a bitch, nigga. Like that shit was not it, bro. And I, don't I think just feel like I don't know. You feel me? I don't think. I think J. Cole been taking shots in him. When Kendrick finally took that shot back, I, was, I, I think he realized that this not really what he wanted for real. That's how I took it. I, I don't like how he tried to say this not sitting right with my spirit. Nobody thought this was going to spill yeah. over into something hey, negative. Big, big Y'all just sad, rapping. Big Sad entered the chat. Did y'all see that? Nah, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> shit. It's right there. Uh, not so live like, chat. No, it's no, in fan funded. funded. 23 likes. Go up. Ah, uh, this nigga said bad bitch energy. Jesus Christ. That's not. Who got the bad bitch energy? <laughs> oh. Me? Thank you. We went over this already. This, I think he's talking about me. He's talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nah, it's not funny, but I'm just looking. I'm like, ah, oh, he, he, did, he did indulge in the conversation. <laughs> Is that his page? It looked like it might really be his page. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, wow. Come on. So is this a gate? Is this like BB gate? Like NAP gate? Yeah. Is it starting to be? Because it was just SHRP gate mm-hmm. last week. I think they can spell. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think they can spell. Yeah, I know. And what is next on No and Jumper? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's been a lot type of fucking gates. Gate. It's a lot of gates <laughs> around <laughs> here. It's gated up. This like a fucking cop. But this, this is it's the yellow yeah. It's a war right zone out. in this oh, motherfucker right now. Yeah, Yo, uh, every man for himself. Anybody could get it. You don't know where it's coming you from. You don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, it's that like who the fuck who? expected that to happen yesterday? Like Jesus Christ, like. I didn't. That was crazy. I, I, did you guys talk about it already? Yeah. I feel like I feel like bro. I I feel like bro was loaded and he would have took it a little bit further than he would have took it. So he hopped up and left, and then he go double back and I like. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Like I think he was respected Adam at that point. Like I know you just did some white boy shit. You know what I mean? That's cool. Let me holla at you and I'll be back. You know I feel saying? like maybe what he was that? having a bad day and like that was just the icing nah, on the cake or the maybe or like yeah. like Go ahead. Uh, bring big up demos yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I ain't listening. I love to the it, zoom ins on you. That shit is so fucking Was I looking like a bad bitch? <laughs> yeah, you was looking like the baddest bitch here. Alright. Man, things just got crazy. Flame <laughs> <laughs> literally walked out of a live podcast episode of the No Jumper Show. Apparently, Adam got under his skin when he accused D.W. Flame of having bad bitch energy. Well, okay, this is the thing about D.W. Is that, no disrespect. Oh, my God, don't do that. You kind of (laughs) have bad bitch energy. Like, you want us 
to be on top of making sure. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he wants us to, like, really be hitting him up to get him to come to the party. No? This girl giggling and shit. Damn. None of that. Is b too much? <laughs> Brick Baby defends DW's actions and hints that DW doesn't really know why them like that. Oh, uh, wow. You tell me. You well, I'm high as giraffe. <laughs> Nigga, they had me here since 10, fresh off a plane. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah, I had me here since 10. I'm pulling drink. I'm over here. Man, I'm like, oh, they. I, I told Adam, I said I was going cross eyed on the last one, bro. Oh, I'm loaded. Shit. I told him I was loaded. Like, I've been here all day. I'm loaded. Hey, it happens. I told him you literally got off the plane. It came straight here, and I still haven't been able to lay I think down. that that was like. I'm on a hey, bender, fool. Hey. <laughs> what a fucking bender, fool. That's what I say about. See, we you haven't got with him uh, uh, enough. Like some people play the like game where you know what I'm saying, and some people don't, bro. Like, but me, I play with my friends like that. So me and you, we can talk like that shit like all the time. Hell, even the super chat notes that by saying Adam should have chosen better words, and that the B word was just too extreme. Another thing to note was that DW never really looked comfortable from the start of this taping. And to compound that, DW's significant other was in the studio. Perhaps that's why he felt super disrespected. She thought he was joking yeah, too. She's, she's like, he'll be right back. Going to the and then I seen her come and grab her purse. And I'm like, oh, because he's not coming back. You know how when you in front While of your girl and you try to up. overreact to any type of disrespect. <laughs> maybe that hey, was the show the goes on, bro. He know that. Point show for DW. On. Who knows? Adam then tries to get reflective. And <laughs> How admits they take him he can get too edgy sometimes. The people out there can think of a lot of examples of different times that I've said yeah. stuff that oh, was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's crazy, right? When we talk about it. This got to be scripted. No, this got to be scripted. What's up, Kev? Yo. Hey, the dog, universe you, is universal. Where, where Adam at? Adam here? Whoa. Yeah, tell cutter come in here too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this shit straight right here, cause all that weird shit, all that gay shit, bitch shit that niggas be playing, I don't play that, cause if you gotta do that type of shit to be at no jumper, nigga, fuck no jumper, 23rd Street, nigga, I don't play that. Nowhere, I have never, never let a nigga play like that. I only left yesterday. Cause I was off that henny. I know how I get. What I just say? On 23rd Street. What I just say? I be on bunk skunk in this motherfucker on insane crib. You don't play with niggas like me. You play with niggas like big sad niggas who snitching like that. Niggas who you play with bitch ass niggas like that. You don't you don't play like that. I ain't. I don't. I don't know about nobody else, but I don't need no jumper, nigga. Oh, that's and that's the that's the truth. I've been booming before no jumper, nigga. Being had shows on, being cracking, being a nigga. On 23rd Street, I ain't a nigga who let nobody talk to me crazy, nigga. I'm really like that. I'm insane crip, nigga. I'm insane. I come heavy everywhere I go. If I wanted to blow up, ain't nothing in the building could have stopped me. Nobody, nigga. Security, nothing. I'm insane crip. I shut shit down for real. That's the difference, though. That's the, that's the difference. I don't play like that. I don't play with the gay community. I'm not gay, so I don't play like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why even I have my own show now because that kind of separates me from having to play like, so much yeah. with niggas. I don't, you know, yeah. and I understand certain shit like niggas play like that. That's, your, that's how y'all play. But I ain't never, have you ever, have I ever played with you, uh, any of y'all? But that's what I said when oh, you I left. I'm like, some like niggas, that. some yeah. niggas like, play, like, some yeah. niggas yeah. don't. Cause hey, yeah. Even in jail, even in jail, you can play. Because even, even with him just saying, he, he just, all he was saying is I think niggas supposed to hit me up. To to let me know where we going. That's what he. he but anywhere anywhere around the bitch where I'm like, pff, my brothers yeah. and then wasn't here because my brothers be like DW because you oh, doing too much. It, they know I'm about to do too much. Yeah. You know I what I'm saying? It too. I didn't want to. I didn't want to reach across there. I, yeah. Adam, I know Adam. Cause like Adam, we be chilling. Cause I ain't want to reach across the table, slap the shit out you. Cause yeah. I'm insane. I'm uh, a gangster for real. Cause. I don't really. 23rd Street, like, bro, like, oh, it's saying Crip, so I, I kind of like, you know, just chill. Even when I left, I wasn't mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, cuz I don't play that. You that breather. You I, have to take a lap, cuz. I don't play that. I know me, DW, though, cuz I'm saying I get to turning up on everything. I'm saying Crip. And the last time I, every time I go off my, my instinct or my, my first thought, nigga, I end up 
in jail for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why no, bro. niggas like OTW oh, should have shut up. It's a bunch of more. Ain't no, ain't bunch no, of mark I, ass I, niggas I, telling me what I should have did. Nigga, only the same crib. You niggas ain't like, never did nothing. That's a narrative. Nigga. You should have did something to Adam. Oh, you should have. I, 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 I went to sleep when I was like, Nigga, you wear thongs. See, I, I was going to explode right off back, but I know yeah. Adam is a, in, in this case, he's a fool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. Fool, you know, fools don't know no better. Yeah. But did you think he will, he wanted something from you at that moment? Who, like it Adam? was all staged to. Oh get yeah, no, nah, I don't know what the fuck. And you know me, yeah. I sit for the yeah. most part, guys. Yeah. I sit back and chill. He like, as soon as he said he about to say something, I'm like, cut, don't do that. Too calm. It's I like, said, yeah. don't do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right I heard before it. he said I heard that, I pointed that out earlier. I said he said. I said, don't do that. I just told him don't do that. Yeah, like you get what I'm saying. So since I don't like when Adam. Get here is gonna be the same energy. I'm gonna say the same shit. Twenty third Street, nigga. I was saying I wish he was here right now. I didn't come in thinking he wasn't here. I was gonna holler at Cub being here because me personally, I would say I'm one of the most respectful people on the whole podcast. Ain't one person got into it with me. Exactly. One person be like nothing. I went saying crip, nigga. Adam, what? what's up? Cause I ain't got no clips. A CEO podcast up or nothing. Everybody else shit going up. What's up? Cause I went saying my shit going up without niggas posting my shit and all that. What's up? I'm twenty third. I'm trying oh. to figure out what is what's really going on. I went saying crip, cause I don't play this. I'm a real nigga. You don't fuck with a real nigga's character. You you got you got bitch ass niggas. You got bitch ass niggas on, who sitting at home on a blow up mattress. Thinking they could, you could get somebody killed from thinking they could play with me. You get no, what I'm Robin. saying? Oh, I could go outside Robin. and a nigga think because he seen on no jumper and nigga play. You see who in the chat trying to be funny right now? Man, his career. Uh, oh, bunk, <laughs> bunk, bunk, yeah. No, but I'm just saying though, because like, oh, look, big I, sad, I, yeah. big sad. I yeah. already man, big sad. Yeah, you you hey, crushed No, nigga. look, no yeah, disrespect. Hey, nigga. no he disrespect. No nigga. disrespect to the PBGs to the hood that Big Sad used to be from. But Big Sad ain't never seen so many ARs on Cadillac. Nigga, on, he ain't never seen so many niggas outside on Cadillac patrolling your shit hey. like y'all. Come on, hey, cuz. Hey, hey. You still on TV. Yeah, shout out to my niggas, though, yeah, from PBG. Uh, shout out to my niggas I really fuck with. Uh, they don't uh, fuck with cuz neither, nigga. You ain't never seen niggas patrol. I ain't gonna lie, when they called in, when they called in, that's what, remember I called you like they called in, mm. that's what they called in and said. Yeah, yeah. They like, bro, he don't even know if we with the play or not. Man. Yeah, put up over here. He Fuck ain't even we over are, are we yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what happened yesterday? Like I said, because I really don't do, I'm a positive figure. You feel me? So for the most part, and I'm a gangster. I built my shit up from the ground up. No flaws, flawless. Niggas can play and be funny as much as they want. I ain't got one scratch on my name. One proof of me ever doing no weird shit, cuz. So my whole Report thing is, cuz. Report For I don't, I don't know about nobody here, but if you have to play with the gay community and say weird shit, if you have to... Uh, fake play be disrespected because on the dead homies, like I said, fuck no jumper in that case, nigga. I'm from 23rd Street, nigga, the worst street. On that same crib, and we ain't never, I ain't, nigga, ain't never seen. He didn't, he didn't let's get this right too. He did not call me a bitch. At that all. is, that's not what he at said. All. I went saying crib so. <laughs> at all. <laughs> Let's get that Andy straight. Reiterated. All he said, Andy reiterated. All he basically, he to get down to it, he's saying in that chat, I don't reply. I expect somebody to hit me up. They got like flames I, in the uh, chat. Whatever, whatever. I went saying crib because I don't know what type of parties niggas going to. Oh, <laughs> that's, ah! that's that's why I don't jump in the chat. Like hey, uh, I'm not in hey, I, don't, I didn't get invited either. But no, he got no, invited. I'm not invited, but invited. I, I just wasn't like I, he oh, checked. I out on he did like check that, on me. I'm 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 gonna keep it all the way a band. He called me like what's happening. I ain't want my bitch to know I was going. So I just was like playing it to the left. We on the phone. I'm like, man, I ain't even going. Cause we yeah. getting into it. So I'm like, if she know I'm going, then she gonna try to sabotage that. Like, whoa, whoa. So at the end of the day, that's why he like, nigga Brick said he wasn't going. And he popped up and did it. That's how, how, how it started. He yeah. was trying to see if some niggas that's like him is approving of going to this party because he don't know if it's an eye buster party. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, so my point is, I don't really some player it. shit going on. It was some player shit. It was cool. It was straight game. Oh yeah, no, no. Cool. I'm saying I just in, indulge. I'm not a chat type nigga. I hit you up, you hit me up, whatever. That's Dang. what type of nigga I am. It just be a lot. Sometimes they be talking about shit I don't know about. Sometimes yeah. I be like, okay, so I'm not in there. 
I play too much for bro. But I play with the homies like that. Like I ain't gonna but lie. You know, like, but, like, but, but you, you, you be looking gotta, like that's you. I, still, I know I you not with, so I it. never play with you. I've never played with you. When I be making the faces, like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm doing what I do. I stay yeah, out of yeah. it. I'm, I'm saying, you but never but indulge in none of that shit. I don't indulge in no I, weird shit. That's man. why I'm like, you kind of ain't count on like I nigga on hood. Like I call, I call Gordy. I call Gordy bitch on the show. All that nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's my old boy. Hey bitch, stop playing. But some homies. Don't play the bitch yeah. word, and you know that. And, and it's you, not even that. It's not like, well, I don't play a bitch word. It's not that I'm like super nothing. I nah, ain't super like, but, God, don't play with me. I'm just like. some people don't do it. You can't, yeah. uh, you like can't you see. Said, you was on the handy yesterday. Yeah. You was like, nigga, that's why I was on the dog. On like, the I, I dead get Did you used to watch the show before huh? you got on it? No, nah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, like I, house will, phone I will. Like house phone I will watch once in a while. Like, that's why I don't know too much. I don't even know You like how I was coming in. I came here pure. Like I came here not even knowing and what that's where what you happened. Wrong. You gotta come oh, into yeah. the new world. Look, look, look. But thing is, I'm a lion. I can I can go where wherever I don't blend. That mean it ain't other lions. Come you on, get what man. I'm saying? So, <laughs> so let me Real no. Shit. And I'm a lion on YouTube too. I've been on the internet a long time, gang. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But but yeah. this right here, the I, I've never been playing with weird shit. I yeah. ain't never. Ain't nobody. I, I have. I still ain't been playing with. It. I, I, said that, gonna play I with said me that. Person. I said that in the beginning. I said, "Cause I don't know nothing about pushing narratives." Mm. Cause don't. I, and I said it on our on, on, on our live stream. Remember church? I said that nigga pure, bro. I, like he got. He like a guy body like with tough skin. Cause like. He don't even know about how niggas try niggas and do all that shit. But nigga, he he's so receptive and not letting it change his push. Remember I said that. I'm like, and it ain't he ain't letting that shit change his push. But, but he coming into this toxic ass world and nigga, he like on some pure gangbang, like, hey, it is or it ain't. And this is like too, this is <laughs> this world right here, cuz is cut through. Like, yeah. like, like, hold up. Were you on there? Like, oh, joking wow. up. Wow. Wow. Hollywood wow. and YouTube. This is, this is Hollywood. No, no, but no, Wild and Out, Wild and Out. Look, think, the thing about Wild and Out, it really got yeah. niggas who openly gated who yeah. who don't play games. They not yeah. finna play with you. They yeah. don't play with niggas. We, they don't play with us. Yeah. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Like they actually normal there. human. Yeah. Now we got niggas who who saying they straight playing gay. With niggas who it's you know gay ain't gay. Off. So how you don't know? How you don't know <laughs> yeah. that a nigga don't play like that? Everybody got yeah. their own relationship. Like him and bro go back. So yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. I can't tell cuz what to do. That's his bro. That's my white I got, boy. I got homies yeah. that play however the fuck yeah. they play, and I always yeah. never played like that. Oh, and same trip. And you and it's tell you can tell in your push. That's what I was telling Adam. I'm like, you just ain't catching on, like. Throughout the, I don't know, it probably been 10, 12 weeks that we've been doing this together, right? Mm -hmm. I've never once seen you indulge into the gay joke or make a segue off of that. Or you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like reply with some old shit to make everybody laugh. Like you I'm just always confident just in myself away. so I can coexist yeah, with yeah, yeah. niggas when y'all like, playing like that or yeah. when, if, even if a gay person is around. But, I can coexist because I'm a, I'm a man because I know, I know what the fuck I'm on. You feel me? I ain't know no weird shit, so that's just y'all, cuz. Yeah, but when a nigga start playing yeah, with me, yes, one thing, no scary business, no bitch ass business, no gay business. That ain't my name ain't never been attached to none of that, and ain't never been attached to no proof, oh, no I paperwork, no none of that, what? nigga. So we different type of niggas. Let me know. I went saying crit. Let me know. Like I said, cuz CEO podcast still jumping. I might just have to be limited to one if if that's what some niggas doing, man though. You get what I'm saying? If niggas is mad though playing weird over here and weird over, I don't blend, cuz. I'm in St. Crib. I don't blend with that. Nigga, I'm a gangster. From the east side, nigga, on Long Beach. On the dead homies. Do you, uh, I, I, I got a question, right? Do your parents hold you to a certain standard? My mama they... know I'm a gangster. No, 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 no. That's oh, not, no. I, come on, we know that. No, listen, <laughs> listen, now this is your brother just talking. Look, right? Your parents watch this? Nah, my mama don't watch this. If she seen a nigga playing with you my on some gay shit, my mama know I'm trip. Is but I'm saying, would she call you like, "Hey, cuz, why did you even playing with that nigga like that?" Uh, my mom be like, "Uh, uh, I don't like that shit." Son. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> so my mom does that. So I'm like, I'm telling the nigga like it's pressure, but my mom know. I'm a funny nigga. I be like, wow, that's us being funny. She like, but he just took a picture. But you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, you don't even know like the pressure of like even. 
when Dijon first came out. Like, nigga, you don't know the pressure his parents have to find out on the TV show. That's, I mean, on the on the YouTube show, what's going on? Damn, though, I just find like, out why Dijon not here. His family. No, nah, don't, don't, don't do it. Yeah, do that. Say, let me, let yeah, me alone, don't do man. that. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, I'm leave six me alone. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 23, nigga. <laughs> Leave a nigga alone. What you say, good? Yeah. Oh, yeah Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Oh, Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. And LeBron. Yeah. 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 Stop playing. Hey, <laughs> Stop playing, dog. Oh, you you feel me? You don't pure no more. Yeah, hey, stop playing, <laughs> dog. Uh, like, the like, door. Cause I ain't saying. On that dead homies, I know the truth. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, nigga. We go. I'm a great fucking person. Super. I don't even, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I'm the dad homies, but <laughs> I just, I just, even when I walked out to wash my hands, I laughed a little bit, like, I'm like, Adam's a fool, I ain't saying you don't know no better. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, I don't know no better, but on 23, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't let niggas in the hood play with my, play with my character, and I, what I look like finna let the, uh, uh, the white man fucking play with my name on the thing cause on the, on the set and I ain't never even put you in no category I'm the only nigga who ain't put you in no category I ain't said Adam is this or Adam is niggas like why you working for that nigga why you doing this I ain't never said I that, that. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna let me see for myself ass nigga cause I know niggas that'll tell you not to go fuck with certain bitches but the bitches be cool you get what I'm saying so people yeah. like oh Adam this but I'm like niggas paint their own narratives too you get what I'm saying? So, for me being that person, I should be the last nigga play with. And on the dead homies, I'm very, I'm very dangerous when I'm out of pocket. Sober. Dead homies, and I rarely get out of pocket. So that what y'all seen from me was growth. That was super under control. <laughs> what y'all seen from me? I got my manager. I got niggas calling. That I I seen. You know, shit you did with six oh seven Unk. I've been growing. I'm with Saint Crip. You know what? Unk, I know Unk wanted to get this shit slapped out of Cubs. I know he really. I know he really wanted a million views. He hit me up every other day. He hit me up every day. Like I know what I was doing. Yeah. He and I. I'm not even mad at Cubs. If that's what you was doing, that's what you was doing. You know what I'm saying? But like, cause yeah, I really. I mean, shit. Like I said, a motherfucker could only. Find out what's gonna happen when you play with a nigga that you don't know by mm. playing. All right, uh, right. and like, I don't want a nigga like, to find out the wrong way. No, nah, but you can't just play the wrong <laughs> way right, every right. time, gang. Like, like, like. Listen, yeah, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Take my breather, if you not, I know, I know. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and, the, and the thing is too. Look, the thing is too. Like, well, yeah. even when y'all was arguing, the only thing I don't play is just the the race thing. I kind of you said you. I kind of you kind of played the race thing a little bit, but him. Up doing the big up sting, real niggas don't do that to their brothers neither. You get what I'm saying? That don't make you look no cooler than me, gang. I'm not saying because as a human, I'm worth more than a lot of niggas. Period. I'm not saying, crap. Once money fall on a nigga like me, crazy money, millions and millions of dollars fall. It's over for weird niggas. Period. It's over for weird niggas. I could stop weird niggas from even getting in. Dead oh, Twenty Third Street. But I'm not saying I'm not saying in that case where well, Adam. I'm talking about other weird Just niggas. Period. But <laughs> Besides that, in your situation, y'all yeah, was making valid points, but yeah, just doing the big ups thing, I don't like that neither. That's that's gay, or excuse me, to the, 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 but that's weird. You get I what mean, I'm saying? You talking, bro. But we don't it do no, we don't do no. I, I don't pick, I don't pick sides. If you notice what I'm doing, because I know y'all broke. I ain't no big so I sit back and let y'all do it. Said, I see both sides of it. Yeah, you I came Adam side, but I see D Dub side too because there's a lot of niggas that just don't play that shit. They don't play that. I world. know Adam wasn't Adam not calling me no bitch, cuz. But still, you didn't like to be categorized. Like I understand. Don't even play I, around that word. Yeah, yeah. Don't even play around it. I Boom. That's why I, I just stepped out. I, I let I, I let cut, I let him breathe on that one. You get what I'm saying? Do I'm you, like I'm gonna let this breathe. Do you, oh, 23rd. Do you have homies that call each other no. bitches? Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But you don't. I got homies that right? call each other but bitches. You don't, but you, you don't. don't. You don't. No, do that, no, right? they don't call me bitches, and I don't call do them. You bitches. got homies that do mama that play mama jokes. Well, oh yeah, yeah. I got yeah. homies that get down, down to it. Yeah, we feel? get crazy. Me and my, but you don't do it, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No. So you never you tell your. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Hold on, don't get me wrong. I play. You get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I just don't disrespect you, gang. Yeah, no, because it's you like I'm, I'm trying to explain to them, like in the gang community, it's two. It's like two different types of like some niggas. 
don't play the games that some niggas do, but we know not to play the games with the homies that don't play the games out of mm. respect. It, he could be the littlest nigga. Like, cut, don't play like that. Cut. You, you got, like, hold on, cut. That's like, for me, like, nigga, I ain't never, I don't like when niggas do that you sleep and the niggas pour water on you. So anytime wow, I'm with wow, the wow. homies, I'm telling niggas right when I go to sleep, I'm not pouring water on none of y'all, so don't no nigga throw no water on me because mm. I'm not playing those games with y'all. Mm. I'm not going to throw no water on you, so when I'm asleep, don't throw none on me. Damn, you, know you the saying? nigga that throw water on me. Nah, don't throw no, I'm, I'm not going to throw no water on you. So but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, like with my, with my, I'm not going to play with, with you, my so dog don't play with, with the like ones that. that will fight you. Yeah, so you yeah I got, I got dogs that yeah, will like, fight you. Like, bro, like, don't throw no water on you, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, some niggas play with certain shit, but I get exactly what you know what I'm saying? I got yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like you gonna throw it on me? Like, get ready to yeah, fight. I'm I'm watch, play, I got homies that's gonna fight you too. Yeah. Once they throw the water, yeah. those the only niggas that's gonna play yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Like you no. get what I'm saying? But like my, my whole thing is because nowhere in the world, it, nowhere in the world is they paying a nigga enough to get disrespected in his worst workplace. Cause. You know what I'm saying? And that's not what's going to happen with me. Even though the homie wasn't calling me, no, none of that. Just anything around it. I want to make sure I shut that shit down because that's going to be the last warning for any nigga, period, on Insane Crib. Or else it's going to be real viral moments. On what no if a girl said that to you? Um, poor drink in her face. <laughs> Twenty sure, thirst because she's thirsty. Uh, hey, I did it. Uh, hey. uh, that's that happened one time. I was like probably fifteen, sixteen. A girl hey. was playing with the hood. Yeah. So if all the homies are sleep in one room, right, and y'all wrestling over cereal, and Whoa. then y'all <laughs> pouring water on each other too. No, didn't. We gonna with just the super soaker. That he played water I mean, him and his Crazy. zombies is. When y'all pumping the super soaker and squirting it. You ain't never been in the same house with yeah, the niggas. Yeah, like, don't what get it. Don't right get it. What are you I'm even saying? About? It's the same thing as wrestling over the cereal. Somebody get this nigga. That nigga could. Maybe with Adam too much, bro. No, like y'all never had super soaker fights before. Me with that nigga too much, bro. Y'all playing. Weed in the front. Crazy. It's up there. I yeah, finished all in that blunt because I'm like, damn, sensitive. I got to smoke it. I don't got no weed. Gangsta's I'm like, the I look like a, niggas. Hey, nigga, I'm rolling your weed. I'm I mean, like, damn. I mean, because we've been through a lot. Y'all so we got, sensitive. We got layers to pull back. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh my gosh. But be, that that make us deep. That make us deeper than the than the dude who graduated from Harvard who but daddy just paid his way. that means that somebody easily can take control of you. Uh, no, no, no. Nah, but you just. Because they know just what to say to you to like. You might you might hold a lot of shit in. Right. I got to get it up off me. Right. That's what's gangsta about it. I'm I'm a I'm a confront it eventually, but I will confront you like a gangster pull you to the side. Doing all this shit on the internet ain't really gangster. You know like even if I would yeah. press Adam on the internet, that's not really gangster. That's, not hard. that's no. a viral moment. That's more internet shit. Yeah. Like even right now, but I just got that shit on my mind just to let niggas know. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm not a nigga. Like, nigga Cuz he wasn't on the schedule. Yeah. That's why I said like, this nah, is scripted. Like, this is that like, nigga. Hey, cuz you know what? I was going to a little later, but I'm like, I'm insane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, I skip my work. I skip my training today. Cause I'm like, cause that's so 23rd. Street. You gotta get down there. Uh, Let me get down here. Cause this is an hour and a half drive. Oh yeah. Stop uh, playing. Yeah, that's a long ass drive. I'm like, cause and then hey, look, hey the nigga big sad such a bitch. Cause wrote me, wrote me yesterday. Cause said, oh keep um. Keep yo keep high behind your little homies. Ooh, I'm like this nigga so weirdo. Cause say yeah, woo, woo, uh, some you don't want to see me one on one, nigga. One on one, anything I will beat your ass at anything I in the world. Uh, I put that on God again. I play soccer. I am a. I, even go play if soccer. we can play soccer, <laughs> I'm insane. Like tennis, I can beat you at anything what about golf? besides drinking lean on Twenty Third Street and being a buster. I can't beat you at being a buster. Imagine a golf off between you and him. Yeah, I was saying, I don't, I, come on, cuz I can't beat you at, at being no bitch. I was saying, you got me, champ. Yo, you, you, you on Bunk. Bunk, you got That's career. And I can't Cut beat you. Bunk and tough. a nigga can't the beat you to the interrogation. And you can't beat me to your hood. <laughs> <laughs> or meet me. Oh, no, dad. I'm just kidding. Beat me or meet me. Weird. Oh, it's sad. I try to figure What's... out how we even became yo op, bitch. Yeah. Oh, dad, uh, bitch but yeah, yeah, besides all that, and your brother on the PC yard, but everybody know that already. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, how y'all doing? Good morning. Together. I just had to let that. Good <laughs> morning. Uh, I had to let that all come on. Y'all know I was, was, like, all, I was actually dissected. The situation right there. Yeah, you might as well go go, past it. We weren't finished. We weren't finished. (laughs) I was laughing at me being loaded. 
No talk, nigga. I was pouring juice and all that yesterday. That I said, oh, wow. Cub was carrying the show for me. I got to be loaded and just pop in, pop out. Then I had to go into full-fledged pie mode. I'm finna go <laughs> have me a, a little drink right now. Cause nah, like, wait, till, wait till you talk to Cub. No, nah, I'm in my right mind. All right. <laughs> he got it off. He good. Yeah. Uh, 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 you need to go watch a couple jackass episodes. Get you know what I'm saying acquainted, I'm like, acquainted with, to the white with, gang, with, with the white humor. Yeah, white gang, with the white yeah. humor. Yeah. You know, I'm, what I'm saying I've been like, around for a long time. I've been around. <laughs> Yeah, I, super look, bad. That's super, the shit exactly. Well, I can recite you word for word on Super Bad. bad. Super bad. You, you do, you like yeah, it. Yeah, super Bad right. is one of my favorite movies, what? actually. That's but besides that, I, I don't give a fuck what niggas do. That, that's what people Make need to understand. Was you can be gay. Yeah. You can play. But I just He's don't definitely play not gay, though. I know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he said it multiple times. I'm not saying that Adam's gay. I'm just saying I don't play like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, because I could say the wrong no, thing, right. and the whole gay community be like, "That's it." No, for sure. He hates gay but what people. I mean by by that, all right, grow, like growing up as a black kid and growing up as a white your mama kid, whoop you your mama like fuck that. you uh -huh. up for doing that. Where are we from? <laughs> what? No, my dad. Like dad. all that ass know. slap, my dad fart my on the pillow. Was like gay? I remember my pop pulled me to the side. Nigga, and it was a gay couple walking down the street. He was like, he was like, "Cause if you ever turn out like that, nigga, I'm gonna disown you." Nigga. I remember that early. Listen, early. No, my it brother was a time. Had them gay couple walk past. It, and he, it was a, he was on it. It was a time when Beavis and Butthead was my favorite yeah, cartoon. That's my brother. So favorite we decided to start mooning motherfuckers in the neighborhood. <laughs> Boy, I ain't showed my ass since. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, mooning motherfuckers, putting our ass on the glass of the car and shit. Nigga, uh, the dead homies while we driving by people, we mooning. She, nigga, that fool whoop, you showing your ass, you fucking. Right. You know what I mean? All type of derogatory stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't trying to say them either. So, you know what I'm saying? But he's. You know, I was, you know, I was a yeah, bug. I ain't even, I ain't even come fresh today. I knew this shit. Yeah, no. I was in the hood <laughs> on that shit. Slid up, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's There's like, they grow up me. playing dick slap. Like, not all oh. of them, but, you know. But niggas is having gay offs right now. Like, that's a lit. All right, we're done with that. We're done with that. We're about to get ready to close out, man. D Dub, you got it off your chest? The worst street. All right, man. Hey, it's been another episode. Oh, but a no jump.